What is going on? Welcome to another Saturday live stream. Today we are doing channel reviews. We are hanging out, doing subscriber Q&A as usual, and we're just kind of talking shop. And we're starting right now. That's just how it is. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another live stream. If this is your first time here and you're watching this on the replay and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, there is tons of valuable information shared in these live streams. So make sure, even if you have to listen to it in the background, make sure that you check out the entire live stream because there's random knowledge bombs dropped all over the place. And make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any videos in the future. Now, with that out of the way, how is it going, everyone? I hope you are having an awesome Saturday. I know me, my Saturday is, is coming to an end. My Saturday is coming to an end. And I'm going to hop in the chat right here, see what is going on, give some shout outs as usual and just to, just so you know just so um just go ahead and put this out there um the live or not the live stream but the uh the reviews are going to be coming a little bit later um in the stream we, we start this whole thing out just like every single saturday we start this thing out with q and a's basically hanging out getting to know each other things like that cutting the caboose in the house what is going on you're at 3507 nice good job on that prestigator ix what is happening tube attack in the house what is going on creative milan ender gaming the real tony what is happening flash in your pan happy saturday to you my friend mila moments what is going on jimmy changa in the house as every saturday eddie garrison nice to see you in here too my friend and real quick and seeing eddie garrison in here just reminded me of this um if there is a youtube group inside of facebook that you are a part of Make sure that you go ahead and share this video in there right now so we can just blow this thing up with, with tons of YouTubers in here um, interacting with each other. So if you have a Twitter account, make sure you share it. If you do, then it's actually going to pop up right down here on the screen. And, uh, and on Facebook, I don't have anything to monitor that, but make sure that you share this over to um, Facebook as well so we can just fill this whole thing up with fired up YouTubers like you. So, first thing we're going to get into is Value Football says, what is the best video editing app on Android? Personally, I think Kine Master is the best video editing app on Android. Of course, that does come down to, uh, you know, user experience. So, for me, it's a great fit. Um, for other people, Power Director seems to be an awesome solution as well. Um, so, you know, of course, you want to, you know, Give it a shot, try some different apps, and see what, what works best for you depending on the type of edits that you do. Um, the reason that I like KineMaster so much is because uh, it allows you to have multiple tracks. So you can actually make a video that looks like a real video where you have some B-roll footage and things like that where you can actually get a really good quality video out of it. The only downside, it's going to cost you a few bucks. If you want to get that watermark off there, I think it's like $5 a month or something like that. But here's the thing. I mean, if you're making videos and you're, and you're, doing, and you're, you're serious – about your channel, every now and then you're going to have to spend a couple bucks on it. That's how it works. Super user in the house. What is going on? Nice to see you um, in here as well. Lil Boss 647 Let's see here. Uh, Mila Moment says that uh, she uses Video Shop, which also um, I've seen a lot of that in the comments. Um, from the, from the, the video that I made on how um, on the video editing app for Android, the the video that I made on that, I got a lot of stuff for Power Director. I got a lot of stuff for uh, a lot of comments for um, Video Shop, Power Director, Kind Master. Um, uh, I think those were the main ones. And um, I think iMovie on the phone was another one that I got a lot of comments about. IMD Player, what is going on? Thank you. I appreciate it. Scrolling down to the bottom of the chat here, Braze Pro, Pro Cool, what is happening? Doug Houston TV, or YT, sorry, in the house. As usual, every single Saturday. You, Doug Hosen is in here so much. I hope I'm saying Hosen right. Hosen. I hope I'm saying that right. But Doug is in here so much every single Saturday that I almost feel like Doug is just like hanging out like right here. Like Doug and I are just like hanging out. You know, we're, we're on the stream, you know, seeing what's going on in here um, <laughs> as well. Like, like Doug is over here like, hey, hey, Nick, shout out this, shout out this person. Shout out this person. Elise Lee, what is going on? Nice to see you in here. Yes, Elise Lee, you have been nimified. 
All right. How can I get more viewers in my streams? Um, one way to do that, of course, is to announce your streams across social media. Like as an example, um, before this stream started, I uh, put an announcement out on Instagram and I put an announcement out on Twitter. And then, of course, you know, with everybody that's in here right now, I was asking um, for people to share it. So if you haven't shared this anywhere yet, make sure that you do. That would be awesome. But that is another way that you can get people into your live stream. And here's the thing. Um, when you are, when you have a smaller channel, it's a little bit more difficult to, uh, you know, to get people into your streams, but you know, you are able to make those connections with the people that do come into your streams. And if, if people come into your streams and they're staying there, then YouTube can, will actually, you know, kind of place your streams in different places around the, around the platform, um, as well to people that have viewed your videos previously or people that are already subscribed to your channel, which is, which is awesome. How do you get more subscribers? That is a question. I, you know, I, I've considered DJ Tronic. What is going on? Nice to see you in here, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Yeah, the how to get more subscribers question. Josephine, what is going on? Nice to see you in here as well. Yeah, the um, how to get more subscribers question is is always a, a funny one because that's what that's what we all want, right? And and the way that you, I mean, views too, but. The, the way that you get uh, more subscribers is by making content. The Whiskey DIC Dictionary. The Whiskey Dictionary in the house. What is going on, man? I haven't seen you around in a while. Nice to see you swinging by. I hope everything is going well with you. But yeah, with the subscriber thing, you know, we all want that same thing. So the best way to do it is just focus on making content that people are either actively searching for, which is very important. Make sure that you're making, that you have your target demographic understood and then you're making content for that target demographic and then over time because all of this stuff takes time just like anything that you do in life over time you will grow an audience as long as you're making quality stuff white out gaming that is awesome to hear thank you so much i'm glad to hear that i love that positive feedback the social brooks says she's never been this early that is cool welcome to welcome to the early side of the stream nice to have you nice to have you in here justin bennett just crossed 1,300 subs last night. That is awesome. So last night was a big night. Justin Bennett just crossed 1,300 subs. Cutting the Caboose just cost, crossed 3,500 subs. So yeah, last night was a uh, last night was a big night for some people in here. Razman's Reality, what is going on, my friend? Nice to see you in the chat as well. Okay, the next big thing asks how to create a most searched content. So in order to create content that is the most searched. All you have to do is go up to your, to your one, you can use the Google Keyword Planner because a lot of that stuff syncs up. Two, um, go up into the autocomplete and just start typing stuff in, and whatever's at the top is the thing that people search for more on that particular topic for the particular way that you're putting in um, your wording. Um, let's see here. Chiba Gaming, what is going on? Nice to see you in here, buddy. Cutting the Caboose says, whoop, whoop, for the, uh, the 3,500 uh, subscriber uh, milestone crossing there. That is awesome. Adam Yaboa, what is up, dude? Nice to see you in here. Adam was actually the first person in the stream today. As soon as I hit the schedule option, he was the first person in here. It was like save and then boom, there's Adam. So Adam, Adam came in early. Corbin Connection Comedy, what is going on, man? Nice to see you. Garage Movie Reviews, nice to see you um, as well. The Gaming Unlimited says they had 102 subscribers last night progress being made all over the place that is awesome nam creates getting close to 200 subscribers which is also good how can you gain 1,000 views in a day um you would have to be really creative and strategic with sharing your content that's one way um two is build your channel over time and once you do that and you're making content that's a good match then in that case you will end up getting um a thousand views in a day, more than, a lot more than. Zaggy DK, Casper, in the house. What is going on, man? Nice to see you in here as well. Yeah, or AdWords, Cutting the Caboose says. Yeah, use, spend some money on it. If you, if you want to get that 1,000 views in a day, spend some money on it. Right, if your channel's small, don't, don't be afraid to spend some money on it. Just the thing with spending money, though, is you, know, you want to make sure that, that your ads are in the right places and attracting the right crowd. And before you spend a bunch of money, you want to make sure that your channel is subscribable, or we'll just call it nimified. So you want to make sure that your you want to make sure that your channel is nimified um, before you do any ad spend to increase your your chances of the people that coming to your channel uh, of coming to your videos to increase the chances of them subscribing once they get there. 
SFN Vlog says, oh my God, Nick is on fire. Thank you. I appreciate it. Best editing app for Android. We just went over that one. Um, but I'm just gonna, I'll say it again, kind master. Let's see here. Let's get some questions here. Uh, let's see here. Eddie Garrison, should I title videos exactly what comes up in most search, meaning what appears in the autocomplete? Yes. Yes, you should. You should absolutely do that. And, and you want to go for, um, Eddie, you want to go for a longer multiple word keyword phrase. And you also want to research the competition. You want to say, in my TubeBuddy video that I just uploaded, I have a link to it in the description, I believe. In that video, um, I, I, I kind of go into that a little bit more as far as how to look at the competition and some things that you need to make sure that you consider. But absolutely, you, you take that literal phrase that people are typing in because that's, that's how you want to, that's how, that's where you want to appear. So you take the phrase that people are, are physically typing in, you know, um, how to get better abs, right? And, and you, and you title your video for that. And you make sure that you put your, um, the, the actual phrase that you're going for. You want to make sure that's in your, in your, top section of your description somewhere and you also want to make sure um, that it is in your tags as well now keep in mind you can put other things in there right so it doesn't have to just be that and nothing else um, you can put that phrase and then you can try to you know um, make it a little bit more interesting and clickable as well so let's say if you're going to do abs you could all you could do um, the best way to get um, to get abs or you know get abs um, without having to I, I'm going kind of like internet marketer brain here but you know get get abs uh, without having to um, without having to curb your diet or you know whatever <laughs> but but make sure that it's, uh, that it applies to the to the video that you're making super important okay let's see here could you help me connect my live stream from Android to computer super easy blaze pro call pro cool if you have a phone, install the YouTube app, and as long as you have 100 subscribers, then you can just go live right from your right from your YouTube app. Oh, you're trying to get your your Android to your computer. Um, for that one, you can use an app called, um, let's see here, it's called like, uh, uh, let's see here, Screen something. One second, Screen Stream Mirroring. It's a paid program. There's probably or a paid app. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's free versions of of something similar as well. Um, but that might that might help uh, solve the solution or solve it for you. Basically, what happens is you basically do whatever it is you're doing on your phone, and then you send it to your um, to your browser, and then your browser is going to read it. So what you would do if you're using OBS on your computer is you would take that, and then you would make your um, screen a browser source, and then and then go from there. Let's see here. Reflector. Okay, Longwell Art. What's up, man? Nice to see you in here. Longwell Art says that Reflector um, also works for that, which is good. How do I fuse videos on Android? You would use that with a video editing app, or you would do that with a video editing app. How do I record my phone screen and audio so that the sound of the game that I play doesn't overpower my voice? Um, that's a great question, Gray Man 500, and I have no idea the solution for that. Like, if you're if you don't want the game audio in there at all then in that case, you would just use like a lavalier or something, and then you would just plug the lavalier into your phone, and then that would mute what was coming out of it, and then you would record um, record your voice. And if, if you could get it set up in some way, I'm not sure how, but to where, the, um, to where it wouldn't actually mute what's coming out of your phone when you plug in the lav, um, then just having your phone further away and having the lav closer to your mouth will help your voice overpower um, what's going on um, on your recording there with your game. Let's see here. Can you tell me how to monetize a video without 10,000 views? Yarko Games, you cannot. Yeah, YouTube requires that you have 10,000 views right now, but um, j just, just grind it out. Get 10,000 views, and then you'll be okay. And here's the thing. I mean, if you're getting under 10,000 views anyway, the little amount that you are going to make off of your ads, it, like it's not even worth stressing out about. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, we got some we got some retweets happening in here. This is awesome from Danielle. Nice, thanks, Danielle. Oh yeah, we got we got like retweets coming in like crazy off of that. Whoop whoop whoop. The Niminator. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's the first time I've seen that one. The Niminator. Nice. Iron Brick says, Nick, I hit hundred subs because of you. You did not hit hundred subs because of me, even though I appreciate the uh the 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 thing there, I, I appreciate that you hit 100 subs because of you, because you took action, because you made the videos, you made the content, and you made it interesting enough 
that people want to subscribe to you. So it wasn't me. It was you. you. You're the one that took action on it. You're the one that started. You're the one that got it rolling. And you're the one that generated those 100 subscribers. Josephine uh, asks, how do you do that? That's so cool. The tweets and chat in your stream. Um, the tweets, I use a service called Tweet Alert, totally free, um, for the subscribers. Um, for that one, I use Streamlabs, I think it's called. And uh, Streamlabs is awesome. Love it. Um, they also have the option. I, I coded this here on the side, um, the, the chat, but Streamlabs also has a thing in there where you can, um, uh, it's like a chat thing inside of, inside of Streamlabs as well to where they can actually do this whole thing for you, which is pretty cool. Let's see here. The Gaming World, what is going on? Nice to see you. Raven Silenite, what is happening? Freaky Studios, I want to monetize my monetize my channel. Please help me. If you want to monetize your channel, first, make sure that you got 10,000 views. Second, you want to make sure that you um, set up your, um, your uh, AdSense account so that they can actually pay you. Um, how do you do a thumbnail on a stream? You load it up into your, um, into your live settings just like you would um, if you were doing a... Let's see here. Nope, that's not it. Uh, just like if you were doing a uh, a normal thumbnail on YouTube, but you load it into your um, your YouTube um, live admin, your actual where it says stream now, you want to click on that inside of your Creator Studio and take it from there. Nick, why do you always wear that shirt? Not in a mean way. Aaron, thanks, I appreciate it. I actually love this shirt. I've got a handful of shirts that I wear um, that I that I absolutely love. This is this is one of them. This is kind of my like you know chilled out. I'm just like hanging out shirts. Um, I've got these in a bunch of different colors. I've got like four red ones, I think. I've got two or three different blue ones. Um, I've got uh, a brownish, tannish color one. I've got a yellow one. I've got a white one, two white ones. Um, love these things. Here in Thailand, this is like, uh, this shirt is like $5. And it is, it, it's crazy comfortable. And that's why I wear it a lot because it's, it's super comfortable. Uh, let's see here. And another thing too, these things can take a beating like to where, um, to where a lot of the other, the other stuff that I'll, the, a lot of the other shirts that I get, these things will age a lot slower than a lot of the other, a lot of the other shirts that I get here for some reason. Don't know why. <laughs> Flash in the pants says that's a cool shirt and the Spider-Man shirt rocks too. Thank you. Thank you. Costume cinematographer, costume CO now also known as costume CO. What is going on? Nice to see you in here. Okay, let's see here. How to get more views? Make content that people are looking for. That is the best way to get views. Is, is basically the idea studio, uh, Freaky Studios, is you want to be on the other side. Like when you're a smaller channel, right? When you're a smaller channel, how this works is you, you need to get the ball rolling by ranking your videos in search, by making your stuff as discoverable as humanly possible, right? And in order to do that, then basically you get your SEO together so that when people search for a particular thing, you're on the other side of that thing. Then once your channel starts to get a little bit of traction, then um, then you can focus more on trying to get suggested traffic and you get suggested traffic by making sure that your thumbnail game is extremely on point and by making sure that your titles are on point. Because if, you're, if your thumbnails aren't doing it and your titles aren't doing it, then people aren't going to click on those and you're not going to last in the suggested um, in the in the suggested uh, video section, and you're not going to get clicked in the browse features, which means that YouTube is not going to keep promoting you if you do not have your thumbnails and your titles together. That is why, you know, anybody that that that's in here on a regular basis for the live streams, that is why I harp so hard on on that 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 the thumbnail thing, right? Is you you have to make good thumbnails because you know if you're not winning clicks. Then you're then you're losing. There, it's not like a there's no gray area, right? If you're not winning clicks on your titles and your thumbnails, you are you are losing and you're creating a disadvantage for yourself. So spending time on your thumbnails, spending a lot of time if necessary to get your thumbnails together, is extremely extremely important. Is Beanie Draws in here? I see uh, the social brook referencing Beanie, so I think Beanie Draws might be in the house too. Yes, he is. Beanie Draws, what is going on, my man? Beanie Draw says, how do I get more views? The most asked question. And Nick continues to answer it with no frustration in his voice. I love it. Yeah, so here's the thing. So um, a friend of mine, uh, Alex, over at the Everything Tesla channel. So 
he and I were speaking, and uh, he thinks that I need to do an ang- an angry translator thing. So kind of like uh, like they did on Saturday Night Live with uh, with Obama, he thinks that I should do an, an angry translator video with uh, uh, basically referencing the the live streams. Man, that's coming in like a serious delay. What is going on here? There we go. Uh, yeah, but but he thinks that I should do a uh, angry translator. So basically, for the stuff that that keeps getting asked. Uh, you know, like I would say something and then, you know, the angry tr- translator would go at it. But the thing is, the reason the reason that um, that I that I keep answering questions, even though it's something that I answer a lot, is because I know that, you know, some people it's the first time that they're in the stream. Some people, they just keep having the same issue, you know, that, like getting views and subscribers, even though it keeps coming up in the streams and 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 every time it comes up and I say a similar answer, it feels kind of like, you know, hey. You know, like, like, uh, like, I feel like I'm, I'm like, I'm repeating myself and, and not that it's a bad thing on my side, but for the, for, for you who come in here every Saturday, like I feel for you because you have to listen through those answers, uh, you know, every single, every single Saturday. But, but the reason that I, that I, you know, make sure that I keep answering those is because, you know, those are two of the biggest things that, that people, that people struggle with on the journey. Uh, let's see here. Hey, Nick, I'm a 13-year-old kid. Welcome to the stream, 13-year-old kid. And I started YouTube about seven months ago, and now I have 129 subscribers. Good job. I'm trying to use your tips as much as I can, but I will love a channel review. We are not to the channel review portion yet, but because you're 13, and I don't even remember when I was 13, I went ahead and put your channel in the queue um, so that I will check out your channel. I, I have the rules. Let's make sure that you qualify here just so you don't. Yeah, you do. Okay, so... So yeah, so I'll, so I'll pull you up here uh, once I get into that portion of the stream. But we still got a little bit to go on that. Um, Bernardo Mendez says, Nick, are you going to evaluate channels? Yes. Yes, I am going to evaluate channels here in a little bit. Can, <laughs> Garage Movie Review says, can I audition for the Angry Nick Translator? Absolutely. You're going to have to come here in order to record the video, though. But yeah, you, you absolutely can. High five, fist bumps, and claps. Great way to go about things, Nick. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, do a vid on best OBS settings. I, I have um, a playlist. There's three videos in there right now. More are going to be coming out. Um, I have a, a, a playlist on OBS. You can check that out on my um, channel page right now. I think, if I remember right, I think that I actually have a playlist down in the description of this video right now uh, that shares uh, a link to that playlist, you can just click on that and go go straight over. And real quick, if you are just coming into the stream, um, make sure if you haven't yet that you share this out because here in just a little bit, we're going to be going into the um, channel review portion. And as another thing, um, for the channel reviews, um, one angle that I go about those is I pull some from chat. I also pull them from Twitter. Um, here be bar. What is going on? Mr. Harry Britt in the house also. What is going on? Nice to see you guys in here. But... Um, I, I pull them from the chat here. I also pull them from Twitter. So um, make sure that you are throwing those out on Twitter as well. And when you do that, make sure that you do an at Nick Nimmin, right? Because that's my that's my Twitter handle. Also, make sure that um, that you put a link to your channel as well, so that I can make sure that I you know th- that it's easy. So I can say, okay, well this one, and then I can open it up and, and without having to actually hunt for it. Cutting the Caboose says, hey, Nick, my channel is 12 months old. Could I do a review of my first video, or does that seem too up my own blank? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think so. I think that's I think that's good, actually, to do a review of your of your first video. I've considered doing the same thing. I've considered doing like a uh, uh like a like a reaction style video of my first video. And and I've I've thought of doing it like on a stream, and then I've thought, well, you know, maybe it's better to do that in an actual video to where I basically go through and I critique it and I share all of the mistakes that I made in that video. So yeah, I think that's a great idea and I think that you should absolutely um, go ahead and and do that. Let's see here. Mesh, what is going on? Yep, gotcha. But again, that's not gonna be for, for a while, but, you, but I just opened you up and you are on the list. Hey, and real quick, I'm gonna take like a two- uh, like a one minute thing here because my girlfriend just came home and I haven't seen her in like a week. So I have to go over and give her a real quick kiss and a hug and I'll be right back. Priorities.
All right. There we go. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Yeah, I, yeah, I haven't seen her in uh, yeah, I haven't seen her in a week. So, uh, so you know, I had to go over there and you know and say what's up. All right, so let's see here. My boyfriend's priority is football, <laughs> says Josephine. Well, it looks like you know. Hey, maybe you should uh, you know, maybe you should uh, you know, trade up. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, let's see here. Says that is so cute. Please your channel, take videos. Have a girlfriend, happy life. That is the truth. Um, let's see here. He's back, charming, good at speed painting. Okay, let's see here. This guy has his priorities straight. Absolutely, right? If not, I mean, you know, like when the stream's over, if my priorities aren't straight, guess who's sleeping on the couch? That's right. <laughs> so yes, I have to. Uh, I have to have my priorities straight, right? See now I'm like giggling and beaming, right? So you can tell I'm happy that she uh, that she came in. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, I was just I was just kidding with you, Josephine. Uh, let's see here. Can I get a channel review, please? Yeah, we are not to that portion yet. Okay, here we go. Here's a good question. Okay, Brick Stewart says, Nick Nimmin, any tips on affiliate marketing to your own product? Um, if you are marketing to your own product from your YouTube channel, if it's your own product, then it wouldn't be affiliate marketing. Um, it would just be sending traffic to your own product. So if you're, go if you're going to do that, Brick Stewart, what you want to do is you want to create as much content as you possibly can around the topics of whatever product it is, your, your primary, your, your flagship product, so to speak. So to speak, you want to make sure that you, that you create your content around that so that you can continually feed people there. Like as an example for that, like um, my Tuber Tools website, um, that's the same exact thing. Like that's a, just a perfect fit for the people that watch my content. And because of that, um, I'm constantly getting like every single day, I'm constantly, constantly getting, oops, wrong button there. There we go. Every single day I'm, I'm constantly getting traffic going to, going to the, the website because, um, because it's a perfect fit for my audience. So there's, there's value there. So, you know, I have, I have videos to where I, I don't actually push it that hard and I still get a lot of traffic going there. So if I, if I actively push that, then I could, I could probably, um, do even better on that site. Um, but for the little bit of promotion that I do for it, um, basically all I do is I just make content that, that feeds into that. And by doing that, then it's a, it's a natural progression, right? Another thing that I want to recommend to you, um, that, that is really important that you keep in mind is to make sure that you're also collecting email addresses so that in case people don't come back to your channel for whatever reason, in case they don't come back to your channel, in case they, um, you know, just were, happened to watch a video and they were just, you know, coming by for something free that you gave away or something like that so that you can still get their email address so that when you launch something or you have additional information for them that's related to anything that you're doing, then you can also send them, um, that you can also send them an email. How long approximately to when you will be doing the review? It will be give or take about th 15 to 30 minutes. Because I'm probably gonna, I'm probably not gonna stay on as long tonight as I normally would for for obvious reasons here. Since my uh, since my girlfriend came home, so I won't be on for as long tonight. Um, but uh, yeah, I would say I would say 15 to 30 minutes before I start doing the reviews. Uh, let's see here. Do you know the magic number for subs for the Amazon affiliate program? Been bounced twice for lack of subs, even though I did six thousand dollars in sales in two videos. Holy moly! Two videos, six grand in sales. High five, fist bump to you, man. That's a good, that's a good hustle right there. So, um, for the actual sub number, I don't. But here's what you can do, Eddie: is um, basically just create a uh, uh, create a website. Go create like a free blog somewhere, and basically put the presentation together so that it looks like um, something that you're actively doing. So, so add like 10 posts into it or, or like eight posts into it, just something to kind of fill it up a little bit and then put, you know, a few affiliate links and things like that. Make sure that you put your uh, disclaimer down there in the bottom, your FTC disclaimer so that everything's legit. And so that when they look at it, it's like, okay, hey, this guy's playing by the rules and whatever, and then resubmit. And then basically you're resubmitting in that case for the website, not necessarily for your YouTube channel. And then once you get approved there, then you can still use that for, um, for your YouTube channel. Okay, let's see here. ITZ Tezer, um, you do that through Super Chat. It's down at the bottom of the chat, that little money sign there. If we have reviews and vlogs on our channel, should we narrow it down? Yes, absolutely. Um, I mean, of course, here's the thing, is if you are, 
if you are doing um if you're doing anything on your channel and you're wanting to actually grow the channel it's important that you are there thank you corbin connection i appreciate it it's important that you that you narrow down the topics that you're talking about as much as possible at least when you are starting out and the reason for that is because you want to have your current topics that you're talking about match topics that you were talking about before because what happens is you create this video library as long as you're making evergreen content you create this video library that people are are constantly binge watching because it's all related to each other but if you make if you make review videos here and you make your vlogs over here but you're dumping those into the same channel what you get is you get kind of a a, 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 di a diluted channel so basically you have your your vlogs where when those notifications go out the people only the people that are interested in the vlogs are clicking on those you get your reviews where only the people that are interested in the reviews are clicking on the reviews now one place where you win or you can win in that scenario is if you are Corbin Connection Nimenology. Nice. God, I, I love all of these uh, these words that are coming out over these last two streams. This is great. Um, but basically what you want to um, make sure that you consider is that if you focus primarily on vlogs, then what you're doing is you're getting people used to, more used to you as the personality. And then in that case, your main focus is you, right? Your vlog, your, your, your branding yourself. And then when you do a review, then the people are coming and watching the review because they're into you, not necessarily because of the particular, you know, because you're telling them the best mouse um, that's available on Amazon, right? Let's see here. Alex Fishing TV says, what's going on, Nick? Silver play button will be a thing by December. Congrats. Yeah, in theory, as long as, as, long as nothing, you know, as long as nothing changes, um, with current momentum, I, I should hit 100,000. Um, in just a tad over three months. So, so, but we'll see, we'll see how that goes because, you know, there's always ups and downs. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But with current trajectory, um, that's, that's where I should be, but we'll see. Nick, how is the stream deck set up so far? Oh, Juan, what is going on, Juan? Nice to see you. Um, how's the stream deck set up so far? Um, and my girlfriend is the same. She will kill me if I don't have it first in my life. Ty as well. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you get it. You get it. Um, yeah, with the stream deck, um, that's actually not here. I ordered another one that's coming um, that I'm going to use at home. But the stream deck, if you don't know what I'm talking about for, for everybody else in the stream, um, the stream deck is basically it's like a live switching thing um, that we picked up for the new uh, for the new project that I'm working on, the Creator Insights channel. There's a link to that down in the description, by the way. So make sure if you are not subscribed over there yet that you um, that you hit the link down in the description. You go over there and subscribe right now because it's also going to be useful stuff for creators. But what he's talking about is I posted a video on Instagram. And that video that's on Instagram is basically showing the Stream Deck in action. And it's showing, you know, how cool the uh, the feature is for the Stream Deck. And it's only like 130 bucks. Now, before that, before I ran across that thing, I was looking at another at, at another switching thing here. It was like $2,000. And I was like, okay, well, we're just going to do it by hand, you know, like I do on mine. But over there, it's going to be more complicated because we've got like multiple cameras going and all this stuff. And I'm showing a lot of that behind the scenes stuff on my Instagram too. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet. But, um, but yeah, man, like the... The Stream Deck is awesome, and the reason it's so cool is because, like, right now in my OBS, I have here. I'll actually, I'll just show you. Um, let's see here. Display capture. No, that would take it over to there. Yeah, give me one second here, and I'll show you. Yeah, I'm gonna show you what what I'm doing here with my second monitor. And then let's see if it does it. Display capture, display capture, boom. Okay, so um, let's see here. Let's slide this puppy in. Whoop. Okay, so basically, like right now, right? I have the the stream that is the stream that is going on over here, right? And this is live. This is what everybody sees right here, and this is kind of the setup area. So with the switching software, what it does is it makes it to where I can put it in. Um, uh, turn off studio mode 
where I don't have the staging area. And it's basically just one big uh, image right here. And then you, you assign these buttons to it to where basically you just click on the button. And instead of me having to switch on something up here that transitions, then it would basically um, take care of that for me. So basically, I just hit whatever it is that I want to pull up. I want this camera. I want this camera. I want this camera. And then it pulls it all up. And then you can drop like slides in there and all types of other stuff that makes it uh, really cool and really easy to actually control like a multiple camera um, live stream. So really cool. Um, once I get mine here, then I'm going to be doing a review on this channel. Once I um, once I get um, the other channel like launched, then um, then there's going to be one over on that channel um, as well. Okay, let's see here. What do we got here? Let's go back into some questions here. Um, let's see here. Nick, do you think simple or complicated thumbnails are the best? Ask Sand Dudes. Um, sand Dudes, I think that simple thumbnails are the best, and the reason for that is you want everything to be easily understood. So you, it doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to be clear and easy to understand. And if you can, if you can work a pattern of some kind into that, it's even better because what happens is I, I don't think that I have it on my something that I can pull up right now. You know, what, I'm actually going to go to my YouTube homepage and just see for the sake of. I had it in in the last live stream, but with uh, cutting the caboose with Dan with Danielle, we are um, we're rebranding all of her stuff right now, and because of that, like when her stuff pops up in on my homepage, I'm scrolling through real quick here to see if they if it pops up right now. The, the pattern with that one is so solid, just like Elancing Success. Like, like hers just popped up, and it's so solid. Here, you know what? We're actually – here, I'll actually show you what I'm, what I'm talking about just with other channels. I'm going to show you why um, simple is better. Hold on. I'm going to keep popping that up. Let's see here. Second monitor, display capture. Let's go there. And boom. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. So basically, as you are scrolling down – Right, you've got like all this different stuff, all this different stuff, right? And everything like here, um, I know he comes into the stream sometimes, like his, like everything's a little bit different, so it doesn't grab a lot of attention, right? Here, breaking news, you know, we don't want to look at that. Um, here, you know, not a lot of patterns going on, doesn't grab a lot of attention. But here, when the endeavoring family, when you see this, right, this grabs attention because it's, you know, everything looks similar, everything's structured the same, with the exception of this one here with the uh, the the images being on the side. Um, let's see here. The tube buddy stuff, if you if theirs ends up popping up in the feed, theirs is the same way because of how this thing um, works out with their branding. Um, let's see here. Let's look for another example of one that stands out. Yeah, video creators, if you look at his, because of the banding that he has over here on the, on the far left, right? Because of this, um, his stands out there um, because of that with the exception of this one. Um, let's see here. Like this one, the Elancing Success. Like, if you're scrolling down this page and that Elancing Success pops up with the exception of this video right here, this pattern, you might not click on, on, on this because, you know, maybe it's not what you're looking for at the moment. But no matter what, this pattern is going to grab your attention and, it, and you're at least going to acknowledge what you see here, right? So that's why, like with your thumbnails, and if you look here, her, her stuff, it's not complicated. It's not... You know, like it's it's just simple, using plain basic text, nothing fancy. The the most fancy thing that she has going on here is she's got a little bit of a cutout, um, or she's got that little stroke around her around her image. That's the most fancy thing that she has going on. But everything else, it's super simple, super easy to understand, basic text, and it and it stands out, right? It it demands you to at least stop and acknowledge um, what's going on here when this is presented on that on that browse feature on that home page. Okay. Let's see here. So just as a side note, anybody that uses the um, avatars, that's kind of distracting to everybody else in chat. So please um, try to refrain from doing that if you can. Um, but yeah, as I scroll down here, I'm looking for other examples. This one, it doesn't, it doesn't scream at you because of that white background, but this one does. Um, it does grab a little bit of attention. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm looking for Danielle's, and I'm, I'm hoping it'll pop up here, but it's not. Yeah, like this right here. See that? See what he's doing right here? So with, with what he's doing on this one, it's the same exact thing, which this is an awesome video, by the way. His set is awesome. Look at his set on here. 
just awesome. But anyway, um, like what he's doing right here with how he's doing his text, he's got his, his picture over there to where it's, it looks the same. This pattern right here, as long as he keeps this up, this is going to be the same way where it just demands attention. Let's see here. I'm, I'm looking for another one just so I can show you a few more examples. Um, yeah, same thing here, right, with, uh, with this, with that, with that bar that's going down the middle. Same exact thing. Brian G. Johnson, yeah, look at that, right? Same thing. Because of the pattern, you're forced to, to stop and look at that. And here's, here's, here's a couple of things that happened here. One, with the Elance success, right, with that green, it draws your attention also. So the color, the simplicity, and the pattern, we've got three things that are, that are working strongly for her um, right here as far as grabbing attention on, on the homepage. Um, if you keep scrolling down and we pop up to Brian, same exact thing applies to where that red, you know, the red and the yellow, those also grab your attention to where you have that mixed with the pattern because all of his stuff, you know, all of his branding is tight. So mixed with that pattern, you can't help but stop and take a look at that for at least a, a second to acknowledge what's going on there. Same here on this one. Not not 100%, but it's a little bit better because of, you know, what's going on here, how they're doing their text. Um, the hammer channel is almost there um, with the with the bar that's going over here on the side. Um, if you haven't checked out the hammer channel, by the way, definitely check that channel out. It is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Love it. Ran across him the first time in, in uh, last week's live stream. Okay, so now with that little rant out of the way, um, let's see here. So, Savage Scientist says I might see one of my videos. <laughs> let's see here. We have learned we, you, don't have a lot of subscribers. People don't take you seriously. So how do you get more subscribers when people do not take you seriously? You add value. You add value, you make content that they enjoy, you make content that people are, are interested in, you make content that people are actually looking for, and you make your stuff viewer-focused and not you-focused. That's how you get people to take you seriously. In addition to that, let's see here. Let me pull this up and make a note of what's being said here. In addition to that... Um, Hold on, pasting this. As you can see, multitasking is not good, kids. Don't try multitasking at home. Um, let's see here. What was this? Okay. Um, yeah, in order to get people to take you seriously, another thing that makes a big impact, um, I'm sure if you've, if you've been in the stream before, um, Cousin Fun, um, I talk a lot about visual authority, right? And we're actually, um, I was talking with my brother about it because that's something that we're also going to be kind of reinforcing, showing people how to create visual authority on the, on the new channel that I'm working on. Link to that is the description. Make sure you go and subscribe. But um, uh, with that visual authority, if everything looks professional, then people are going to take you more seriously by default. Like if your thumbnails look good, if your actual image quality looks good, if your audio sounds good, if your channel page when people land on it, if it's nimified and they're like, hey, you know, this is, you know, this is interesting. Everything, you know, looks nice. Everything makes sense. Everything's easy to understand and all of that. Basically, if your channel's subscribable, then, and it looks pro, then um, what you're going to do there is you're, is you're going to get people that will give you more of a chance than they would have otherwise. Because, you know, even though you don't have that count underneath your name, it's still like, okay, well, hey, this person, you know, they're taking this seriously, so I'm at least going to, I'm at least going to watch. Jen Adventures TV, what is going on, Jen? Nice to see you in here. Also known as the Piano Girl. Nice to see you in here, Jen. Geekism, I got you opened up here. We've still got about 15 minutes before we get into the review, um, that we, before we get into the review portion of this live stream. I'm, I'm going to go back up the thing here because it looks like there's one that I missed also. Oh, there it is. Okay. Got that one too. Okay. Underneath the bottle, what is going on? Nice to see you in here, buddy. Um, I'd like to hear what you think about my channel as well. Underneath the bottle. 
Okay, let's see here. Oh, here we go. Okay, uh, great question. The Social Brook. Nick, can I get your thoughts on affiliate links? Some say it's okay. Others say they got their channels deleted when putting the affiliate link in the description box. YouTube is unclear about this. Okay, with affiliate links, what you have to make sure that you do is you have to make sure that you put an FTC disclaimer in your description box. If you do not do that, then what's happening is you are basically violating the law because YouTube is a U.S. company. Even though you might be located in, um, you know, another part of the world, YouTube is a U.S. company, and they are required to to have FTC disclaimers when you are linking out um, to an affiliate site where you would make a commission. So, in order to create that FTC disclaimer, um, what you need to do is you can just go to the FTC website to get exact wordage of what you can use, or you can create your own version. But basically, what you want to do is you want to make it clear. If you click on these, if you click on any of the links in this description, um, I will earn a commission from that, right? So basically you have to, it, it's kind of a disclaimer to let people know that, hey, I'm not just putting these links down here for the sake of putting these links down here. If you click on these, I'm also, in addition to, you know, showing you where to find this particular thing I'm talking about, I'm also going to make some money on this if you end up making a purchase, so when you do not include that, then you are running the risk of getting your channel taken down. Um, but as long as you as long as you include the FTC disclaimer, then um, then you should be in the clear. And and really, as a side note too, like as long as you're adding that FTC disclaimer, I recommend that that you do some type of affiliate stuff on your on your channels because um, because if you if you don't then you know just running off of ads is going to be is going to be a hard way to hard way to roll. Jimmy Changa, yeah man, I got you. I I open I put you in a notepad actually. Okay, so um let's see here. See, I'd have to pull up my thing in order to do this. Okay. Um so Jimmy Changa asks um so Nick, can you teach us the difference between external and other um in the watch time traffic sources analytics? Okay. So let me pull up my analytics here. External, in a nutshell, is basically any watch time that you get from um, a source that is not on YouTube. Let me give me one second here. I'm going into my Creator Studio so I can clarify this. While I'm doing this, make sure that you share this video out. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you have not yet. We are going to be going into the review portion of this live stream here in about 13 minutes or so, give or take. 13 minutes-ish. Let's see here. So let's go into my analytics. Then we will go into the watch time reports. Traffic sources reports, I mean. Okay, so we are going for external, right? Okay, so basically here's here's the breakdown. So suggested videos is basically any videos that are suggested um, in the sidebars at the end of a video or anything like that. Um, the browse features are anything else on the YouTube platform, like when it gets shown on a homepage. Um, as an example, the YouTube search is basically when people are... Um, um, searching for anything on YouTube. If your video shows up, then that is um, that is where that comes from. The channel pages is, let's say that somebody lists you in a featured section over on their channel page, or they put your playlist on their channel page or something like that where your name is there and people can click on it and come through. That is channel pages. Um, another thing that will get you channel page traffic is also comments on other um, on other channels. That, that one will also fall under channel pages. Um, notifications, that is basically when you send out the bell or when, when you tell people to subscribe and click the bell. Those are the people that came in from the notifications. Um, the other YouTube features, we'll open that one up here real quick. Okay. Now here, when you go into the other YouTube features, it specifically shows you this is offline stuff where people have, have either um, um, saved it to watch online for the, for the countries that do the data saving on YouTube. Um, the YouTube remote, I'm not sure what YouTube remote is, actually. Um, the creator studio, that's inside of your um, creator studio, and that covers that. 
Um, for the external traffic, we talked about that one already. That's pretty much anything um, off of YouTube where your where your video is embedded or where people are actually sending traffic in. Um, playlists are anywhere where your video is played inside of another playlist. Um, the video cards and the annotations. That one is basically the little cards that pop up on the on the screen where you recommend content. Um, and the annotations is the old school way of doing the same exact thing. In screens, that's basically, we all know what the in screens is. That's basically when uh, when your video stops playing and the, the you know, you're actually telling people there, um, you know, watch another video or subscribe or whatever. Um, and the YouTube advertising is basically any ads that you run so that they can give you that breakdown there. All right. Hi, the social bro. Dolce Mom's Life in the house. What is going on? Nice to see you in here. Adam Uboa, again, Savage Scientist. Most of my money comes from Ancestry DNA video and Android stereo reviews. Yeah, so if you're doing, yeah, like in that case, if he's doing HRH Tiffany, what is going on? Dolce Mom Life? Yeah, like if, if in his case, if he's doing um, affiliate stuff to that um, Ancestry thing, then that's definitely a, uh, a good way to do it. Jimmy Changa, yeah, I hope that cleared that up for you. It's real simple, and and a lot of the a lot of the stuff in there, like they make a lot of these things inside of inside of YouTube, um, like they'll have like the little question mark thing, so you can click on that if you want a little bit more information on on what it means. Um, but some of them do not have that little question mark, so it's definitely good that you that you asked. Um, let's see here. Hi Nick, you're amazing. Thank you. How to stay productive as you? How to upload daily videos on YouTube during school? Please respond. Thanks. This is from Retempo Production. Um, I don't upload daily. Once, once the new channel opens, I'm going to have um, two videos on this channel and a live stream on this channel a week and two videos on that channel and a live stream a week. Um, so um, with that one, I'm going to be at six days a week with that, but not daily. But that's because I'm, I'm going to be getting help on the other channel. I wouldn't be able to do that otherwise. But in order to stay consistent, what all you have to do and, and stay consistent and productive is you have to say, okay, you have to sit down and say, okay, wh what is it that I'm going to make videos about? And then you have to do your keyword research on them uh, in bulk, right? This is how I do it. And you do it in bulk. And then you say, okay, now I have to record all of these videos. Now I have to record all of the additional footage that I'm going to use for these videos. Then I have to edit the videos and so on. But, but basically you do all of these things in a block. So like let's say if you're going to upload daily, I'm not really sure how you would do it in a block daily depending on the type of content you're making. But I guess you could. I guess on like Monday – you could just have Monday where Monday's your your rough day, so to speak, where Wednesday is my rough day. But you can make it where run, Monday is your rough day to where you're like, okay, on Monday, what I need to make sure that I do is I need to make sure that I record five videos on Monday, and then I'm going to edit one on Monday. That's why Monday's rough. And then, um, and then the other videos that I have um, are going to be released throughout the rest of the week. Um, so basically, you have the actual recording done. So then all you have to do is, is make sure that you um, edit those videos. And by doing that, what's going to happen is you are also going to um, get really good on the recording portion of your videos because you're going to be you're going to be cramming all of that into one session, um, which is awesome. And another thing is you only have to set your stuff up like in my case, I leave my stuff set up. So that's not a big deal. But I know in a lot of cases, people actually have to you know, oh, it's record day. I got to grab my camera and pull my camera out. I have to, you know, get my lights set up and all that stuff. If you have like a batch day, you just record everything and then you can put all your lights and stuff away and it's not that, um, not that big of a deal until the following week. And another thing too, when you batch record, it also helps you to, um, to stay consistent in the event that other life things get in the way. Okay, Rookie says, love your channel. Thanks, I appreciate it. Um, thumbnail question, should music YouTubers put text on their thumbs like Connor Maynard or no text like Leroy Sanchez? Thanks so much. I'm not familiar with either of those creators, but I think that you should use text in your thumbnails. And the reason that you should use text in your thumbnails is because some people don't look at titles. Some people only look at the thumbnails. I'm one of those people. Some people um, only look at titles. They don't care about the thumbnails. I mean, they can't not look at the thumbnails because they're so huge. But um, but some people make sure to look at the title, and then they read the or the thumbnail, then they look at the title. Me, I'm a total visual browser. That's how my brain works. And because of that, I just look at thumbnails. I, I completely browse right over any titles that I see. I'm, I'm, I'm thumbnail-focused. So because of that, 
It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be, you know, a ton of text, just a few simple, easy to read words that basically tell what the video is about. And it doesn't have to take up the whole the whole screen. It can just be something that, you know, goes here across the bottom. It can be, you know, a little, you know, a little thing of text right here. You know, just something that that's easy and it's big enough to where when you pull it up on your phone that you can make sure that that it's easy to read on your phone. Like as an example here because I have the underneath the bottle page um, pulled up here. I'm going to show you an example of what I mean by that. Um, so if you look here um, on his thumbnail, like in this particular section right here, he just has that wine for dummies. Just something small like that is all you really need, right? It doesn't have to be, you know, a bunch of stuff like mine. I, I primarily fill mine with text. Um, it's my, my big hairy face and some text. Um, but you don't have to do that. Like you can, you can get away perfectly with just using, um, just a little bit of, of text and you're, and you're good. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, cousin fun says when I try and do a thumbnail, it says it's too big because I'm using an iPad to record. So what do I do? Um, what I would do in that case, I'm guessing it's because of how you're exporting it. You're probably exporting it as a PNG file. In a lot of cases, that's okay, but if your software is making it too big, um, then in that case, you want to export it as a .jpg. Another thing to keep in mind is it might say that it's too big by the actual dimensions of it. So if you're making it too big for the actual dimensions, you want to make sure that um, that you actually size it for for their platform. Um, I personally upload 1920 by 1080 thumbs, but um, YouTube specifically recommends 1280 by 720. So make sure that you're at least somewhere in that range. Let's see here. Hey, Nick, what's your take on the new Creator Studio now that you've had it a bit longer? I like it. I think that it's pretty cool. Um, I like visually. I like how it is. But they're still adding, they're still adding a lot of stuff to it. So because of that, um, we'll see how it how it finally ends up. I made some recommendations to them that it looks like they're at least adding to their consideration list, which is awesome. It's going to add some really cool comment features if they end up doing it. So so we'll see. Like, uh, uh, well, yeah, I won't even go into that. Okay, uh, let's see here. Hey, what's up? Hey, Nick, put on slow mode. Put a slow mode on, idiot. Oh, that's nice. Love those. Get that dude out of here. Okay, what's so important about tags, Nick? Thanks. Um, William Sloan, the, the important thing about tags is it helps YouTube under, not YouTube, but it helps their machine understand what your video is about. Um, and tags can also, one, they can help you rank your videos. Two, um, they can also help you um, show up in suggested videos next to similar content. So it's extremely important that you that you learn to tag your videos correctly. I actually, I just put up a video. I don't know if you have TubeBuddy or not. If not, there's a link to TubeBuddy down in the description. But it's like an SEO tool um, and just an overall like management tool for getting your your metadata together on YouTube. I've got a link to it down in the description. But I have a video um, that I made for TubeBuddy um, or for, you know, to give insight into how to use it. Um, it's on my channel page right now. It's the last, it's the last upload that I did. It's like how to get more views with TubeBuddy, I think is the is what the thumbnail says. Just Kylie, what is going on? Nice to see you in here. Let's see here. Hi, at the Hammer Channel. Is the Hammer Channel in here? What is going on, Hammer Channel? Nice to see you in here. Costume CEO says the current Creator Studio sucks. I like the current one. I think it's okay. Um, the phone version, I, I definitely want more data in the phone version, um, which hopefully they'll do that too. Um, but, but what he was talking about is the new version that they have on the back end um, of the creator studio where you get your, um, the analytics side of it. Cause they're changing up the analytics side. Uh, well, and all of it, like they're changing up how, you know, the comment section, they're changing up all of it. Um, let's see here. What else do we have? Leather rock. What is going on? Why is YouTube getting rid of its built-in video editor? Um, I don't know why, but I would assume, or I would guesstimate that um, that they're getting rid of that because probably not a lot of people use it. I'm sure I know there's people that use it, but you know, in, in comparison to to people that are just uploading the videos, um, it probably takes a lot of of um, processing time off of off of YouTube over the over the you know over the entire platform. So I would guess that one probably lack of use two would be um, would be the 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 hit on processing power. Let's see here. 
How good does the internet connection have to be for a smooth live stream? Excellent question. So my live stream right now, um, as of today, actually as of just a couple of days ago, I'm now up to like 19 um, for my upload speed. Um, previously, though, for the last few weeks, and even before that, I've been, I've been around four, maybe five for my upload speed. So right now I'm actually getting a better quality speed or, yeah, better quality speed than, um, than I normally get. William Sloan, my pleasure, man. Glad, uh, glad it was helpful. Let's see here. The social brook. It's like waiting for Christmas. Hey, Nick, when are you starting the channel reviews? Woo. Here in like a minute. Because I, I know that's what a lot of people, uh, I, know, I know probably most everybody in here comes in, for, uh, comes in for that. Any info on copyright music? Do not use copyright music. That's the, that's the best recommendation that I can give you. Make sure that you have license to use anything that you want. So what I did, um, because I basically have one YouTube account that's just connected to a Gmail account that I use as a filter, so to speak, for my YouTube channel. So basically if somebody goes to my business inquiries email um, or they go to the um, email down in the description right now um, to inquire about you know like reviews and things like that, then um, it basically goes to that particular email and that kind of separates that from the other emails that I have so that so that because I get a lot of stuff in there of just people, you know, just sending random stuff. So um, because of that, I've created, you know, the two separate accounts. So I said, OK, well, for the sake of fun, I'm just going to put some personal videos up, not trying to grow the channel or anything, but just put some personal videos up so I can have like an archive of of my own life, too, as I get around to making, you know, the 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 videos for that. So I uploaded the first video and it was of a Songkran holiday with my girlfriend and I. We were out running around. It's like a water festival here in Thailand. And we were out running around. And so I recorded it from – a lot of it's from, like, the um, the squirt gun point of view with my GoPro connected to the squirt gun. And, uh, like, the whole city turns into, like, a water fight, which is pretty cool. But basically, um, uh, when I uploaded that video, um, I used a track that I, got, I bought from Audio Jungle – but unfortunately, and this is one really, this is one thing that's happened recently on, relatively recently on Audio Jungle that I'm not a fan of, is when I uploaded that video, I immediately got a, um, a copyright notice on it. I didn't get a, a full blown strike. I just got the notice saying that they claimed it, so they would get the ad revenue from it, and uh, I was disappointed. And the reason for that is because I paid for that license, like I paid for that track. But the, the, because the, the artist put it into the system on YouTube now, and they even make the disclaimer on Audio Jungle now because I went back and looked at it. Um, and now, basically, when you upload your video, they've added extra work. So in addition to, like, okay, let's say for as an example here, since we're talking about copyright music, let's say as an example that that I had a uh, a vlog and I just uploaded this video and it was my upload day for the sake of consistency and all of that stuff and hey you know I got to make sure I get this video up this is awesome people are going to love this and then I and then I upload it and then I get a copyright violation that I have to go through the process of disputing and all of that stuff because I purchased this track from Audio Jungle so for me Audio Jungle is normally my go-to source. Now what I'm going to have to start doing is I'm going to have to go down into the um, making sure that I read the full page of the artist and all that stuff. And I'm not going to support any artist on Audio Jungle that, that does that. And the reason for that is because, you know, like I understand that they are, you know, that they're protecting their content. But on the flip side, it's like, hey, man, I, I'm paying for this. And even though I'm paying for this, you're creating extra work for me as somebody that's, that's, that's you know, that's buying this. As a customer, you're creating extra work for me in order to actually use this on my YouTube channel. So, you know, if 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 that was an actual vlog to where, you know, hey, I'm doing daily vlogs and, you know, I haven't missed a day in, you know, in two years, and then I lay that on there, right? Then it's like, oh, great. Now I have to go through this process um, before before I put this video up. So it, it just it's just an additional additional headache. Paul Democritu in the house. What is going on, my friend? Nice to see you. How have you been? I've been great. How have you been, man? I hope you are well.
Dear Eliminator, any thoughts on the YouTube library? YouTube library is awesome. They have a lot of really cool tracks in there. A lot of them are janky. A lot of them you don't want to use, but they have a lot of really cool tracks on there. And um, they let you sort by licensing. So some acquire or require attribution, others do not. Um, so because of that, um, for me personally, I, I try to use the stuff that doesn't. And again, you know, I understand the the you know supporting the artist. That's cool. Um, but if it's awesome, then yeah, maybe. But you know, for the most part, I just I just do stuff that I don't have to do any attribution stuff because the only links that I want going out of my out of my channel is stuff that is is things that are directly related to things that I want to send people to. So okay, let's see here. Yeah, the the free CC music on on SoundCloud Science Theory. Um, that's that's also okay with attribution. Um, but again, you know, you also run like with the with the um, some of the stuff on SoundCloud. Like here's here's what you can run into. So let's say that you download one of those um, CC songs on the Creative Commons songs on SoundCloud, and then you put it into your YouTube channel with attribution. You do everything right. You play by the rules. But then you find out later after you've already uploaded your video, after they've already hit you with that um, that uh, copyright notice that you have to go through the process of, of disputing now, after they've already hit you with that, you find out that, well, hey, even though I could download this off of SoundCloud, this artist also released this track through another website that they where people actually you know pay them or whatever. So they released this track through another website, and this other website feeds all of the content into the content ID system on YouTube, right? And then you still have to deal with a, a copyright claim. So so just be real cautious about about the music that you use in your stuff. Most most cases, it's fine. I'm kind of going on a rant, but most cases, it's okay. But in other cases, it can really kind of put a wrench um, in your workflow because then you have to go through the process, you know, of, of doing the, the disputes and all that. Okay, wanted to say hi to everyone. Saw your messages. I appreciate all you guys. Says Paul Democratu. Yeah, we've missed you around here, man. It's been it's been crickets around here without you, buddy. Yeah, Paul, guys, is a is a author. I've got his book actually sitting over there. I got to roll over there in order to get it. Um, but he has a book um, called Success IAO. Awesome, awesome book. You can get it on Amazon. Success IAO. Really good stuff. Gord Eisman in the house. It's Nimmin's world. Top of the morning or evening to you. Top of the world to you too, Gord Eisman. Dollar dude, very true, Nick. I try to leave the attribution stuff alone. Yeah, man, it's, ooh. Yeah, as you can tell, I kind of went on that rant. I'm kind of passionate about that whole thing because um, because I just think it's uncool how how it's, it's, it's an interruption to the workflow because, you know, staying consistent, you know, making sure that you're getting your videos up, making sure that you're, you know, playing by the rules, that you're on top of all the right information to make sure that, you know, you're, you're, you're playing by the rules anyway on your channel, just in general, um, to make sure that you're, you know, on top of things that are changing on the platform and all that stuff. And then you give people money to cause you more work for having to claim a, uh, or having to go through a dispute on um on a track yeah i'm just not a fan of that whole thing okay so hey nick i made my or oh, i myself made a microphone for my channel and it's awesome that is cool you made your own microphone that is that is awesome that's how that's how companies start right there malcolm small good morning to you my friend nice to see you in here techie banda nice to see you as well things which you did for tweets can i also do this with paypal donations um, I don't understand. Let's see here for tweets. Basically, it's just if people tweet and they say, hey, you know, I want a channel review. That's that's where I that's where I pull them from. So what we're going to do is we are now going to go into the channel review portion of the live stream. I know this is what people have been waiting for. So the first one that we are going to pull up and I'm just going to kind of do these in order here a little bit. First one I'm going to pull up. Is. Jack Hadar, drones, technology, and more upload every weekend. That is awesome. You basically say exactly the type of content that you're doing. You're saying that you upload every weekend. That is good. Super simple, super easy to understand. Um, your thumbnails, I would definitely match up your thumbnails. Very important. Um, 10 things I hoped I knew before buying the DJI Mavic Pro. That's good. Mavic Pro maintenance. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, you're 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 making useful content here, so you will do well over time. Q 
Can you please do the reviews now? I'm actually already on the reviews. Can you do the reviews now? That's funny. Okay. So let's see here. <laughs> yep. Okay. So, so yeah. So for you, yeah, you're definitely on the right path, man. I would, I would definitely tighten up your branding on your thumbnails and stuff because that, that over time is, is going to be very important. Um, especially for the type of content that you are making because your audience, you know, they're, they're obviously going to be into video and drones and that kind of stuff. Um, so them being able to recognize your content when it's presented to them anywhere on the platform is very important. So I would definitely dial in your branding, um, on your, on your thumbnails. Mesh. Okay. You don't even have your, you don't have your custom layout. That's part of the rules. So if you check the description, you do not. Um, you, you don't follow the, the, the rules here for the review. So, um, so I can't, I can't do yours. Um, let's see here. Corbin connection. What is going on, man? I, this is, uh, I think this is the second time I've, I've been on yours here. Um, Corbin connection comedy subscribe new videos weekly. Good. You know what, man? And, and please, please don't take this the wrong way. But I, 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 you know, like I'm saying this for the sake of, 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 um, of helping, like I, I would, like I would, I would hop on Fiverr or something and have somebody make a, a header um, for you. Basically, give them this and tell them, say, "Hey, I want this information on here," and have somebody make a header because this doesn't have. I mean, it would cost you like five bucks on on Fiverr, right? And and it wouldn't necessarily be you know like branding related, but just for the sake of making this up here just a little bit more um, impressive, it's worth five bucks. For, for people to have that impression when they first land on your on your channel. Like, this is okay, and the information is good, but, you know, in, in all honesty, on, on my screen right here, because this is a pretty big screen, um, it just looks like the images look a little soft, and it just has, like, a, you know, it just looks a, a little bit... Um, uh, it, it just doesn't look uh, uh, pro, you know what I mean? Like, it, it looks... Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how. To <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think how to say this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, basically, I would hop on. I would hop on on Fiverr and 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 find somebody to to whip a, uh, a, a channel art together for you. Because like what you're doing your thumbnails, this is okay. Um, this text here is a little bit hard to read, and this is hard to read with all the extra effects that you're putting on it with the um, strokes that you're putting on there. Um, since most of YouTube traffic these days is mobile, I don't know about your particular channel, but if it's not that way now, it will be in the future. Um, but, but make sure that, that all of the text on your thumbnails can be easily read on a small, on a small device. Like if you look at this, right. And then you look down here, what's going on in your thumb. Like it's a totally different feel. And I think, I think what's doing it is I think the the disconnect I'm having is the, um, Review stop. What is going on? Nice to see you. I, I think what's going on is the uh, it's that brick stuff back there. You know what I mean? Like like for me because of that brick stuff, it's like nowhere else in anything that you're doing. And I think that that's where that big disconnect is coming is coming from. Yeah, if you're doing this on your phone, that's probably why the images look a little soft and stuff. Because um, I just saw that in here saying that you um, that you do this on your phone. So that's cool. I I, I totally understand that. Um, and that, that does explain the, the difference because basically when you're doing it on your phone, it probably looks a lot different than when you're looking at it on a full screen monitor. So, um, so for anybody, like when you make this stuff, make sure that when you get the chance, if you're at a friend's house or, you know, if you're at a library or you're at, at the mall and you have access to a computer, then, you know, pull your channel up real quick and see what it looks like. If you're making all of your stuff on your phone, pull, pull it up on your, pull it up on a computer and see what it looks like there. So you can kind of cross reference, um, what's going on in your channel. Geekism, creative gaming for grown-ups, new videos daily at 5 p.m. Awesome. Great pattern going on there. I like what you're doing here with the um I like what you're doing here with the uh the the series numbers down here on the bottom. That's pretty cool. Um one thing that you don't have and and you started it, like you have it here and you have it here and you have it here. But on this particular series, you don't have, um, you, you're not matching up your branding. And hold on, let me see something really quick before I say this. Yeah, it looks like these are where you're getting the most traction, which means that these are what 
is going to be in, um, I mean, your channel is going to be in browser history anyway. So for, for the people that are, that are looking at your stuff, but I would definitely sync up what you're doing here because you have the geekism here and then you have like this, you want to create that one thing that people can recognize. So like what you're doing here is great, I think. And, but how you're doing your patterns, you know, this is what I was talking about before, you know, with the, um, with the, um, with, with the patterns like this showing up in a, on a, on a homepage would grab attention. This would grab attention. This would grab attention. This would grab attention like separately. These are all great. That that's why I'm saying that I would just update. The only thing I would update is, um, here you have this. I mean, don't get me wrong, man. Like, like what you're doing here, this looks fantastic, right? It looks great. Um, but all I'm saying is that I would just scoot this up. I would take the geekism off of the top there and I would use this. Or I would move this out and start putting the geekism on these, one of the two. But I would just do something to kind of sync it all, sync it all up. But again, th this isn't a this isn't a huge deal. Oh, you do have twenty seven more of these. Okay, so so yeah, it is kind of a it is kind of a huge deal. But yeah, I, I would pick one and 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 roll with it. Underneath the bottle. Let's see here. Underneath the bottle, new videos every week. Wine, food, and travel. That is good. Wine YouTube channel. Excellent. And guys, just as a side note, once I'm done with these, make sure that you're pumping these out on Twitter. Uh, make sure that you are adding me on Twitter because that's where I'm going. That's where I'm going next. Okay, so. Okay, yeah, same thing with you is I would do something to to pull your branding together. Like what you're doing here, that's good. That's definitely, you know, you get the pattern going there, which is good. But there's nothing that um, that connects your content to each other. Um, like in this one here, like these you're using your face. So if people are familiar enough with you to where they'll see these and recognize you, but then they see this where your face isn't direct on. So if they're familiar enough with you to where they'd recognize you here, that's okay. But like in this situation, there's nothing here that says anything um, at a glance about this being yours. So I would definitely make sure uh, make sure that you dial that in. And also, um, while you guys are sending this out on Twitter, also make sure that you um, that you are giving your feedback as well, because all of this stuff becomes a lot more a lot more valuable to the channel that comes up on the screen if we're all giving feedback, so they can see everybody's opinions on their stuff, right? Because there's 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 mine on you know things that that I know make a difference, but then there's also the general user experience as far as you know. Hey, that looks great. Hey, that doesn't look good. Hey, I, this is kind of hard to read. You know what I mean? So so definitely um, feel free to to let people know um, what it is that that you do or do not like as well. Okay, next up is this one. This is a little difficult to read. Your header art. Um, what you're doing here with the thumbnail, that is, I mean, that that definitely works. It is, um, uh, okay. It is, it is, um, like it does stand out, but overall your thumbs are relatively drab. So I would try to do something to, to spice up your, to spice up your thumbs. Like I would sit down and I would, I would spend some time getting your, getting your thumbnails together because your, your thumbnails definitely do look, um, a little drab. So I would, I would definitely do this. And, and one thing as a side note for, for anybody here, like, let's say that you make, let's say that you make videos on your phone, right? If you make videos on your phone, you can still use software like Snapseed to where you can, to where you can, you know, add some contrast. You can add some color to make your, to make the, the color pop. Um, to where you can add like a vignette around the image if you want, but um, you can add some ambience to it. Like there's a lot of different things inside of that particular app that it's super easy to use and you can do amazing things to your images. So instead of putting the images on there that are that are drab, right? You want to put you want your images to grab attention. That's the whole thing because you're going against all of these other people. And more importantly, even if um, I didn't look at the subscriber count here, 53. So, so out of those 53 subscribers, you're also competing with all of the other people that, that they're subscribed to. So it's really important that your stuff pops, that it grabs attention. 
And you can do that if you don't have a computer. Even if you do have a computer, you can load your images in your phone and you can do it in Snapseed without having to do any type of, you know, anything online because Snapseed is, is crazy easy to use. So definitely do that. Mesh, um, same, yeah, like I said, man, your your channel, if you look down in the, down in the description here, um, your channel has to have um, a few things in place before I... Before I can do it, you upload regularly. Your channel's using the custom layout feature, which yours is not, and the you're not begging. So, so in your case, your channel definitely needs to be using that custom layout feature. Okay, let's see here. Next up on the list, Savage Scientist. Savage Scientist. Yep, same thing, man. Um, here, this stuff in the background's a little bit hard to read, um, and especially. Like Savage Content Weekly, that doesn't make sense. Like I understand what you're doing with, with tying in your name, but it doesn't make sense. Like if somebody lands on this for the first time, what they see here is not going to make any sense. Savage Content Weekly, that doesn't give any insight. This up here, Tech Gaming Science and Reviews, that's good. I think you should take this and make it a little bit bigger and move it down here and do something to this. Maybe add another picture here and then, um, and then do something with your text to kind of make this stick out. Um, a little bit as well. And another thing too, you have tech gaming science and reviews, but then I go here and you have Uber launches across Mississippi. So right here you have an immediate disconnect of what's going on in your channel, right? Because here you're saying this is the type of content that I make, but then once you actually look, that's not the, that's not the content that you're making, right? You have tech gaming science and reviews. And then here your last uploads are Uber launches, Uber legal robbery, uh, my stolen car, being humble and staying broke. Okay, a thermometer. So there's under tech. But yeah, like like these four are they don't fall into um, into what it is that you are that you're offering up here on your channel. All right, Savage Science Weekly. Yeah, it's like mine. I think it's a bit unorganized. I need tips. Can you review my channel? Let me see what you got here, buddy. While that's loading, let's check Mesh. He still hasn't changed it. All right. So make sure that those tweets are going out. So that, uh, because I'm getting ready to open up Twitter right now. And I'm going to grab, I'm going to go down to the first tweet. I'm going to pull that one. I'm also going to... I'm I'm also going to grab one from the top. So make sure that you are that you're throwing these out here. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Spammers. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so we're going to go down here. I've got a bunch of notifications in here, so let me go down, see what I can pull up here. Drum roll. Thanks, Josephine. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Nino. Nino Chef. Okay, let's keep rolling this down here. One hour, one hour, one hour, one hour. One hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour. All right. So now it's Ali Mate. Just gave you your shout out there. Okay, let's see here. So we are going to go into the weekly random. I'm pulling this one up here. Oh. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to climb up the list. Looking for YouTube link. Weekly random. Um, yeah, I can't find your, I can't find a channel link. Um, let's see here. As we are going through here, I just hit 100 subscribers. Iron Bricks, congratulations. Let's see here. So, Michael Riker, there is your shout out. Let's see here. Can you please review my channel? It's in my bio. Yeah, typically, if you can drop the link... That's that's a bonus. If you can drop the link to where I don't have to go and find it in the bios and stuff, that makes it easier. But I'm pulling yours up, LJ. Um, but that that just makes it easier for me, so that when I go in there and I and I pull these out, um, that I can that I can that I can get them in there. 
Mm, okay, yeah. So, um, L L J, your channel is not. Um, you don't have your customized channel, so so yeah, I have to I have to take that one off. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Michael Riker. Did I have that one up already? Let's see here. Michael Riker. Let's see if this is you. Okay. Yes, Paul Democritu is a moderator. Yeah, he is a, um, let's see here. He says, um, people asking me why my name is blue. It is because I'm a VIP and own stock on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, Paul's a Paul's a, a moderator. I, I trust Paul. Um, I've known Paul for quite some time now. Paul's an awesome dude. And I, I made him a moderator because um, he used to, he doesn't anymore because that's the type of dude he is, but he used to come in the live streams like every time I was live. But now, you know, he's, He's doing he's doing other things, so he doesn't stop in here as much. So, uh, but it's it's all good though. But he's still a moderator. I still trust him. He is still good to go. Cutting the caboose says hers is blue because she's actually a White Walker off of Game of Thrones. True story. Just so you know, she just put it out there. News to everybody: she is a White Walker. Okay, Mikey, uh, Minecraft Mikey, you do not have... I'm going to play up on the screen here just so people can see what I'm talking about when I say this. Your channel is not verified. You do not have your custom layout selected. I need to see navigation here in order to navigate around your channel, right? I need to see some playlists on here to know that you're putting some effort into, into your channel um, before, I can, before, I can, uh, before I can knock these out. Okay, let's see here. What's going on? Channel review for me. Let's do Alex. See what we got going on, Alex. Alex, are you still in the house, my man? <laughs> Paul says his heart is always here. Nice. Lots of great people in here. Absolutely. You know, one thing that I really enjoy about about the live streams is is the the people. You know, people come in, they hang out, they interact with each other, they give feedback. You know, when I pull this stuff up on the screen, it's just awesome. I absolutely love it. Like, technically, I, I probably shouldn't even be doing this right now, you know, from, from what happened earlier. But, uh, but you know, it's got to do what you got to do, right? Okay, so. Whoop. Okay, so AliX. AliX Fishing TV, adventures, reviews, and tips. That is good. Curious why the tips part is is bigger. I'm guessing you're focusing on that, maybe. I would do something, since you're doing fishing TV, I would do something, even if it's subtle. I would put some type of image back here of a fish. Even if it's subtle, to where you still have your black, but you have a you have a fish back there, and then it's kind of um, like the opacity on the fish is pulled way back to where you just see some type of texture back there. So it gives something to this to make it look a little bit, a little bit better. Another thing to mention, too, um, just as a side note, man, is um, here... Your bar that you're using here is like a dark blue, and then you have like the light blue text on it, but then you have the black up here. Here, your your blue that you're using here versus your blue that you're using here, right? You're you're creating that disconnect right there. You're using a different bar than you are using here. Um, here, you're not using anything. Oh, here you are in some of them. Another thing too, like with you, same thing, man. Like if you can if you can pull these into Snapseed. Your, your images here, because these are cool pictures. If you can pull these into Snapseed, um, you can really make these things pop, man, so that they really stand out in the sidebar. YouTube collaborations. Yeah, I, I would definitely get your, get, your, get your sidebar thing back on, um, like ASAP, and, and make, them, make, them, make them match. If they don't match, like if you're breaking them down into different playlists, which you're not, but if you were, um, then that's okay. Um, as long as it's similar, like very similar as far as, and what I mean by similar is it's this, but maybe reversed, right? So, I mean, it's, it's the same, the colors are the same and all that stuff. Um, and that you're using, um, the, the same, the same fonts and textiles and all that stuff across everything it is that you're, that you're doing here. All right. Hopping in here. New sub here. Great stream, bro. Love it. Says Jimmy fishes. 
That is cool. High five, fist bump. Welcome aboard. Glad you are enjoying the, the live stream. Um, Deltoid says, Nick, my computer is 512 megabytes of RAM, but I can't run any screen recorder. Have you tried Camtasia? Camtasia is awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure that they also make browser plugins for Chrome that can record your screen as well. So you might want to look into that if you can't find um, an actual piece of software um, to do it. Okay, rolling up the Twitter feed here. Let's see here. GT Series videos. This looks cool. Okay, now with that said, let me go ahead and say this, because as this channel's loading here, so I looked at the, the avatar in Twitter, right? And this is where all of this stuff matters, right? You have to consider every single detail when it comes to your YouTube channel. I mean, of course, you know, you can things happen. You know, you can you can get traction. You can blow up without doing any of this stuff. But, hey, BM Man TV, nice to see you in here, man. Um, you know, you can blow up without doing any of these things, you know, if you happen to get lucky or something. But, but that's an anomaly. It doesn't happen a lot. But if you want to get everything dialed in to massively increase your chances, you have to make sure that, that, you, that you remember the details. So, like in this case, right? So I saw this in Twitter. And I said, wow, that looks cool. So I'm clicking on this one, right? And the reason I said that is because I saw this. I said, that looks cool. I saw this. I was like, man, this is nice and clean. So my brain said, okay, you know, this, this looks like this might be like a serious channel. Like this guy's doing something, something serious here. So then I, I clicked it and I opened it up and I see this and I'm like, okay, this is nice and clean. It doesn't necessarily tell me what's going on. If I'm, if I play like GT, um, Gran Turismo. Okay, if I play Gran Turismo, this would probably speak to me, which is fine because that's good for his target audience, which is who would be landing on his channel page anyway. So that's good. Um, and this right here looks awesome. It looks cool. So so this whole top section looks fantastic, right? One thing that um, that I want you to keep in mind, and everybody in the stream, I, I mentioned this before. I think in the in the last stream, really important is that when you're trying to get initial momentum. Like, I know that it's important to spread your presence out to other social media outlets as well because, you know, in the case that your channel gets deleted or something like that. But it's also important that you that you don't send a lot of off-site traffic um, if you can avoid it while you're trying to get momentum on your channel. So if you're doing, like, affiliate links and things like that, that's a little bit different. But, like, you have to kind of choose your battles, so to speak, right? So in this case, if you're just trying to send people to Twitter – then, well, you know, it might be better to send people from Twitter into YouTube because Twitter's not going to punish you for that, right? But on YouTube, you're actually killing session time. If somebody lands on your channel page, like, oh, let me go to Twitter. I'm going to follow and, and see what they're doing on Twitter or on Facebook. And then the next thing you know, they're lost in Facebook, checking in their messages, things like that. And then you just completely annihilated a, that person's session time, which is a negative. And that's not something that you want to do. So in your case, um, I'm going to go to your video page because this isn't all laid out. Um, right. But in your case, I would definitely add a little bit more imagery to the background in your thumbnails. But overall, what you're doing here is OK, um, because you're making this connection from from a design standpoint, just putting this stamp. Like on all of them right here in the right here in the middle is is, you know, I mean, that's 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 what I would do, just like you're doing right here. Like this is cool. Right. So even if you had to kind of lower the opacity on the thing in the background just a tad. Um, so that that text stands out, um, or so that that logo stands out. I think that would be an awesome, clean, clean look. But yeah, I, I like what you're doing here overall. But but you definitely need some Im imagery in in your thumbnails here, like this right here. That looks cool. Like like this, right S across all of the thumbnails with imagery. That would be super clean. All right. Okay, so next up on the list, I'm going to go into Twitter again. Drum rolls. Brrr, drum rolls. What do we got? What do we got? Drum rolls. Just in time for a live session. Nice, says Peter uh, Paler, the porcelain. Hey, you, I mentioned I, I uh, mentioned your comment today because you left a comment on my um, video about how to name your YouTube channel um, Paler Than Porcelain. Paler Than Porcelain. I get it. Okay. So you were talking before about um, difficulty coming up with a channel name. It is tough to come up with a channel name like uh, or, or name anything because, you know, everybody takes stuff and then somebody will take a good name and then they won't use it. And then you can't, you know, you can't use it because they've got it on Twitter or everywhere else. But the uh, a really good place to 
a really good place to make sure um, or to help you check on your, your channel name stuff. Here, I'm actually going to pull this up in the chat so everybody can see it um, because it's important that you grab your name across all social media, right? So this website here, this is called Name CHK, right? So let's say I'm just going to pick a random person out of here. Um, let's do Harry HD, right? We're going we're gonna to grab Harry HD here, and we're going to say um, Harry HD, and then we're going to hit the Go button. And then what this is going to tell us is that with Harry HD, Harry can get the .com, Harry can get the .net, .org. He can get any of the, of the domain URLs that he wants, any of the ones that are in green. Facebook, his name is taken. YouTube, he hasn't claimed his custom URL yet. Sometimes this is inaccurate, but you can always just right-click and check. Okay, so this one's just sending to YouTube, so they might have lost their API access or something. But, um, but yeah, so it looks like his Facebook is taken, his Twitter is taken, but it's saying here, yes, some of these, for whatever reason, it's not, it's not pulling them up, so you'd have to manually research. But anyway, um, basically it gives you at a grid all of these different platforms, and it tells you what's available, what's not available. And all you have to do is you have to hover over here, and then you can look down on the bottom left of the screen right here as I hover over that. And then it will actually tell you if it's pulling the actual data from it or not. So you can figure that out at a glance without having to go and visit um, all of the different sites. But it also tells you, you know, with like trademarks, if anybody has the trademark for that name and things like that. So that's a, that's a really, really great site to use when you're trying to make sure that you get all of your social media um, names for future use. Hey, Nick, please review my channel. It's Makes Curious. It's been five months, and I've improved watching you. Congratulations on your approving. Improving. Improving. All right. So, quick cup of coffee for you morning folks. Okay. So, next up on the screen... is makes curious. I just pulled this one from Twitter. So Professor Nez in the house. What is going on, Professor Nez? Nice to see you, my man. Nice to see you in here. Okay, so Dutch Gaming, nice to see you as well. Chip Face, Epic E. Harry D is a latte man, noted. I have to write that down. Harry D is a, Harry HD is a latte man. Okay, so on this channel, this is cut off over here. Makes curious. That um, doesn't make any sense right there. Um, so I'm guessing you're saying, you know, to go follow you somewhere else, or I'm not saying if you're, I'm not sure if you're pointing down to the subscriber, what's going on there, but I would definitely clean your header up. I'm guessing because your photos are soft as well, I'm guessing that you are also making this on a phone. Um, so I would definitely pull this into the computer and remake remake your header because it looks really low quality on, on my big screen here. So I would definitely, definitely um, pull that in. And like this right here, as you can see, it's, it's getting covered up by, um, by your, by your, by your uh, profile picture. So you definitely need to, to move this around. And when you're saying subscribe, excuse me, when you're saying subscribe for weekly videos, it's important that you make it clear what type of weekly videos that you're doing. Right. So instead of just subscribe for weekly videos, be specific. Right. Speak to the people that are landing on your channel page. What is it that they are subscribing for? Right. Like it's not it's not that they are subscribing for um, uh, just for the weekly videos. It's they're subscribing for the particular type of content that you make. So so it's really important that you make it clear why uh, why they should subscribe. And also remember that your playlists, these do have a description area as well. Um, so make sure that you are adding your playlists. And make sure when you're doing this stuff too that you're not just, you know, that it's not just for the sake of organization, right? Like you want to make sure that with your playlist that you're actually trying to get these um, to the, for the sake of discoverability in search as well. All right. Zoop. All right. Let's see here. So you guys are in here like drinking, it looks like. We've got like Paul and, 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 and Danielle are talking about like doing double shots. Like I don't know what's going on in here. I was looking at the screen for a minute and then I come back. Everybody in here is drinking. Like I don't know. I don't know what's I don't know what's going on. 
what what are, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, it's great. Um, how do you highlight the name in chat? Um, Professor Nez, I will pull this up on the screen right now, and I will show you, my friend. Um, if you are, whoop, if you are um, highlighting the name in chat, all you have to do in your case is you would just do an at and then do Professor Nez, and then that would highlight there, right? So then that you should see a highlight there, and then in addition to that, um, you also have you also have um, an actual moderator thing that you can do as well. So let's say as an example, um, if I wanted to make Dollar Dude a mod, I would just click on the bars over here, and then I can go down here and do Add Moderator. So that's how that's how you um, that's how you do that. Oh, on mobile, yeah, on mobile you can still do the same thing with the at, and and that will do it. Um, but I'm not sure um, I'm not sure how to actually add the moderator on the fly. So in your case, if you're doing it on a mobile, um, you might want to do it when you get back in front of your computer, where you can where you can physically go into your um, channel options inside of your Creator Studio, and uh, and do it that way. Yes, um, we are using OBS for this. Let me take this off here. There we go. Yeah, we're using OBS for this. Uh, Lance Prevost. That is what we're. That's that's what is going on here. And I'll actually show you. Like this is my setup right here. Basically, I have. Um, basically, I have uh, the the OBS over here on this side. I have um, the actual chat window going on over here. This is my setup area this is the actual live area of what everybody's seeing and then on this monitor here this is where i actually on another screen i click on this and then it will pull up um that display and then i can transition over to that and then here in this middle section um, i've got a bunch of different stuff worked out here to where like i can do like i can click on this right the stinger and i click on this and drop my intro in. click on this one it drops the um, subscribe bell in and then this right here will slide, you know, for a transition from whatever I do. This will cut for the transition fades and so on. So, yeah, it's really, really, um, really cool. I, I, I love it. I love it. I like it a lot. Okay, Professor Nez saying, hey, at Tim Longwell. Um, Nick, please review my channel. So, Nick, what do you think of the new OBS features? I love them. As you can tell, I'm using this slide thing like like a madman. I'm actually, I'm absolutely loving, um, loving the 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 latest release of of that okay can you your channel tell me what i'm doing wrong let's see here thanks paul i appreciate it very best says nick can you review my channel yep i'm gonna pull you right now and then i'm gonna go back to twitter so i'm gonna grab this one here out of chat um i had a quick look the channel looks great but nick recommends consistency with thumbnails and header art keep your fonts and style in the same style says cutting the caboose and that was targeted towards its tether Okay, so the very best, we're going to pull you up on the screen. First, congratulations on 100 subscribers. Go ahead and say that. Okay, so the very best, the official channel of the very best. I have no idea what type of content that you're making. So you got to make that clear. Super important. Like with the imagery up here, I don't know if you're doing games. Like this looks like games, but then here it looks like you're doing like a tutorial of some kind. Graphic designer. Yeah, so, so there's a lot of inconsistencies going on here. So I would dial all of this in. It looks like you might actually be a kid also. So I would dial all of this in. It's really important that on your YouTube channel, you make it easy to understand when people land on your channel page what it is that people can... Gaming World, what's up? That you make it to where people can can easily understand when they land on your channel page without having to think about it. They can easily understand what it is that you're offering them, what type of content that you are, that you're giving them. No need to apologize. You're okay. Um, but what I'm saying is, is, is that you just need to dial this stuff in because it is important. Um, if you want to grow like a long-term sustainable channel, not required again, you know, anomalies happen, but, but it's in most cases, like, you know, pretty much everybody. Um, it's, it's really important that you do that. Okay, so now we are going to look in the chat here. Nick, you know, I'm going to pull this over here on the side, actually. So when I pull these up, then we can see what's going on here, too. So we can keep that whole thing in there as I pull these up on the display. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see here. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, this looks interesting. Okay. 
Thanks, AC. I'm not sure if you are still in here or not. Um, I just pulled up um, AC Andy on a journey. I just pulled you up, but I don't see like your your channel page is not laid out. You definitely need to customize your channel page and add some uh, playlists in there. Let's see here. Nino the chef asks, how do you feel about unique and creative channels? Do they have a shot in the YouTube space nowadays like skits? I can tell you what, Hammer Channel, he's a unique channel. I think he's got a shot, if that answers your question. Let's see here. A lot of gamers in here. A lot of gamers in here. Okay, let's see here. Okay, let's see here we have, okay, we did Unbottle. Okay, another gaming channel. Okay, we're not going to do that one because that particular one was not laid out also. Okay, so yeah, we'll do this one. Okay, so here we go is another one. Boop. Okay, I like the sound effect. Boop. Okay, Official Gaming Plus is the name of the channel. Um, you say that it's Gaming Plus, so that's cool. You know, lets people know that you are a gaming channel at a glance. Um, I would do something here that is specific to the actual types of games that you play. Um, if you have, you know, specific things that you that you play. Um, Pattern-wise, you definitely got this. Pattern-wise, but there's nothing on here that actually shows this is your stuff. The closest thing you have to it is this little thing down here with the number on it, which is kind of okay because you're doing that on everything. So that that's actually kind of okay, even though it's not like your logo per se, it's still recognizable. So so I think you're okay there. I mean, you know, you could definitely dial that in just a tad, you know, maybe by putting another one up here or something, but I I, I, th I think that's okay because the pattern grabs attention and then that would, you know, for me, that holds me long enough to look and see what's going on here with the, with the number thing. And since you're doing that on everything, I think, I think you're okay. In comparison to the other thumbnails that you have, these thumbnails look a little bit janky in comparison to what's going on up here. But um, but overall, I think I think you're you're not that you're 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 not that bad actually. I think you're I think you're I think you're okay on your thumbnails. But one one place that you are creating a disconnect is between this up here and this. So just for the sake of pulling it all in, I would do like an orange thing, like going like here, whoop, like right there, right, or something you know, kind of like cutting in this way, just to kind of pull that all you know, pull it all together so it makes it look more intentional as part of what's going on in your channel. And you know what? I actually had this chat so it would pull up here and I didn't, I didn't pull it up. So, okay, so we're going to go into another one here. Let's see. Actually, let me turn this off here real quick. While I'm going through the selection process. Okay, so on this one, we are going to love seeing Nick Nimmin live on YouTube. I'd love a channel review, my man. Chip Face, I'm going to open you up right now. Let's see if I can find your channel. Let's see here. There it is. You posted it. That is good. Not having to hunt it down, which is always a bonus, always a plus, always a win. Oh, yeah, interesting. Okay, so we are going to pull up Chip Face. Do you like Ja? <laughs> okay, Chipface Gaming. So on your channel, Chipface Gaming clearly says that you're doing gaming stuff. I'm guessing, I don't know this as a fact, but I'm guessing that the characters that you are that you have displayed here are representative of the games that you play. Same thing here, your okay. Man, you were close. You had it. Like um this right here, I would roll with this on all of your thumbnails because this is this is in like a gaming style, right? So I would definitely run with this on every single one of your thumbnails. And then what you do from there is fine, but I would run with with this. This this panel here because this one is a little bit difficult to read. Um let me know in the chat also. You know, what do you, what do you think of this? Are are these you know, do you do you would do you agree? Do you think that this is easier to read than this? But yeah, I would I would take that and I would put that on every single one of the thumbnails. Um, very 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 uh, that that looks awesome, man. And 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 for the you know for the gaming community, 
like this speaks, you know, like the actual style of this thing right here also speaks to your community. And me personally, I would even take this a step further by taking this, flipping it 90 degrees, and actually removing this up here and taking this, the whole block, right? Flipping it 90 degrees and putting it right there. Bam. That's what I would do personally if this was my if this was my channel. If somebody said, hey, Nick, here's this channel. Do your thing, right? Do your channel. Or here's my channel. Do your thing. Uh, you know, this is your channel now. I would take this because I would say, oh, this looks cool. Do you have the PSD for this? And you'd say, yeah, here's the PSD. And I'd say, cool, thanks. And then I would take that and I would just scale it up and I would slap it right there. I would remove this. Slap that right there because it's easy to read, easy to understand. Um, and then I would put underneath it, I would put the actual types of games that I play. And then I would call it a wrap. And that would be done. No problem, Chip Face. Glad you found that useful. I like the name too, by the way. Chip Face. It's a great name. Adam Yaboa. Keep up the good work, Nick. So much value. Thank you, my friend. High five, fist bump to you. Appreciate the super chat. Okay, let's see here. We are going back into Twitter now. And we're going to go to the top. We're going to go to the top of Twitter and see what's coming in here. Okay, um, Eat My Uke says, Nick, um, would I get the same results from making a video unlisted and then listed as opposed to the usual scheduled post or public or published method? Um, if you make it unlisted first, then technically you can get some views going to it before you actually make it live, where in theory that's supposed to help your view velocity um, on your video. But I know people that do this all the time. I, I've had clients that do this also, and it didn't create like this big dramatic um, result. So I, I think you're okay not doing that. Um, just like if, if you if you dial in everything right like if you dial in all of your branding stuff so people can recognize that you encourage people to click on the bell notification icon so you can get those initial views that's where you get that power from for the actual promotion more than having it unlisted and sending traffic to it and generating some views over the a few days and then making it public um, the the better way to do that is is put a hard push on driving people for the notification bell okay let's see here. Do we get unlimited downloads? Crazy Kid TV says, um, do we get unlimited downloads if we get a membership um, VIP? If you get a membership to Tuber Tools, yeah, you can download you can download everything inside of uh, Tuber Tools uh, with a membership for sure. There's there's no uh, no restrictions for downloads. Um, let's see here. Okay, so here I am grabbing another one to pull up on the screen. Making sure that he, he meets the uh, qualifications here. And it looks like he does. Cool looking channel art. Colorful. Okay. So on this one. Oops. So on this one. Let's go down here. Boom. Okay. You already got that one it looks like. Thank you. Thank you, Danielle, for, for nailing that one. Okay. So on this one, NFA. This doesn't, okay, how you have turn on notifications, that is excellent. Very good move there. Um, that's quite a subscriber count, by the way, that you have on your channel <laughs> up here in the uh, channel art. That's what you call vision right there, folks. That's vision in action right there. Um, but yeah, how you have to turn on notifications, that's cool. I love the colors that you have going on here. That looks awesome. Um, you put you here as the personality of the channel, which is also great. However, NFA doesn't tell me anything about your channel. It doesn't tell me the type of content you make or anything like that. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you put the type of content that you create on your channel because saying your name is cool, but you also want to put, you know, basically you want to let people know the type of content they can expect from you. Um, in addition to that, um, I would also make sure um, that you put something on your, on your thumbnails so that people can recognize your content as yours. And I would also put uh, more of your content here on the channel page as well. Because you clearly have a lot of videos going on. Like you got 16,000 subscribers, which is good. Um, but here's the thing, right? Like with these 16,000 subscribers, you should have more than 318 views on a video 
um, that you uploaded a day ago or, or more than 254 views on a video that you updated up, uploaded three days ago. And one thing that's going to help you achieve that is by doing these things that I'm, that I'm talking about as far as, you know, making your stuff um, to where people can recognize your content as your content. Because like, let's say that out of your 16,000 subscribers, almost, you know, I'm just going to call it 17 because probably by the time the day is over, you'll probably have 17. Congratulations on that, by the way. Um, but like as an example, right? Like if I watch your videos and I like your content and this comes up on my channel page, then if I like dogs, I'm going to click on it. If I like cute little dogs, because that dog is adorable. Absolutely adorable. You know, it's so adorable. I'm actually going to zoom in on that dog if it'll let me. Look how adorable that is. Just look at that. I uh, lost it. All right. Look at that little dog. Super adorable. So because of that, you know, I, you know, I would probably click on that because I like cute little dogs. But for people that don't, the idea is to let them know that it's your content, right? So in your case, with these 16,000 people that you are, that you are sending or, or that, that are subscribed to your channel, when your content gets shown to those people, you want them to know that it's your content. Because I guarantee you, out of 16,000 people, you've created enough people that are into you that they would click on it just because it's yours guarantee you 100%. So if you put something on here, be it a little sidebar, be it a little thing down in the corner, be it your face, be it, you know, this image on every single one of your thumbs or an image of you on every single one of the thumbs, something like that, to where they can know that it's your stuff, that's where you're that's where you'll win and that's how when you upload new videos and they get pushed out across the platform, people can recognize on their homepage that it's your content. I mean, of course, you know, people can um, you know, like if, if you come up on a homepage, right, let's go ahead and load up a homepage so I can illustrate this. Like if, if you come up on a homepage, right, if people cannot recognize your stuff as it's being promoted to them, then you're going to lose. But if people can recognize your content as your content, they have that identifier on there. VidChop has that identifier this has that identifier. Even Joe Rogan, right? He they don't do this on all of them, but you can even see here, like on Joe Rogan, see how they're how everything is they're getting a look together, right? They're syncing up a look so that basically you get the pattern and you get, you know, oh hey, this is Joe Rogan. I like Joe Rogan, so I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna watch it. Right. But if it, if he just put like in this case, if he wasn't in there and he just put a picture of like a brick wall or one of his guests or something like that, then that video is going to suffer more than the people that can recognize his content when it gets released. Right. So like in your case with those 16,000 subscribers, if you put something on there to make it where people can recognize that it's you, then that is that's where that's where that's where you win. And that's how you can generate more um, more of those subscribers. So hold on, where'd your channel go? There it is. So, so yeah, so basically what you want to do in your case is you want to really dial that in, right? You want to make sure that you, that you add something here to where people can start identifying your content as your content. And you want to do a real hard push. You're already doing it here with the turn on notifications, but you want to make sure you're doing a hard push on the notifications and that you are making your, your content easy to recognize to people that are already into your content. Because in that case, right, what you're doing is, is you're, you're making it easy for your viewers that are already into your content to find you. And when you do that, then it gives you that, that, that initial push, right? Because your content gets suggested, it gets pushed on the, on the browse or on the home pages and stuff like that. And then it creates that initial push where in your case um, is going to generate more um, velocity for your videos so you're not stuck in this, you know, 254 views for, for three days type of thing with 16,000 subscribers. Okay, so um, Pauline, Just Living. I just saw this one in chat, so I figured I would, I would pull it up here. Um, let's see here. Please, tiny review to help me. Thank you, Moose. Think of your channel header as a storefront. Think about what you want. Will you really browse someone's content if you don't know what is there? Yeah, super important. Well said. Yeah, like like making it where making it where people can, you know, like if you landed on your channel page, you know, we all have this thing where we all think our stuff, you know, looks amazing anyway. But if somebody landed on your channel, if you landed on your channel page, is it easy to understand what you're doing? Is it easy to understand the value that you're offering to the people that are going to watch your videos, the people that your potential subscribers and, and, and for your current subscribers, 
is it easy for them to recognize your content so that they can come in and watch more of it every time it gets promoted? Okay, um, Pauline Just Living here on your, um, your channel art. Same thing applies. I'm not sure what type of content it is that you are, that you're making here. Um, so basically like when your page loads, like it's, it's not clear to me the type of content that you have on your channel. Um, since you are the personality here, it is good that you have you in the background there. Um, but I would really focus in on, on like the, the name of your channel is the least important information that you can have up here. Cause it's here also. Right. And, and you say it in the videos and things like that. So having your name up here is is important because you definitely want people to recognize it. But what's more important here is the actual type of content that you make. Um, I would also add more of your content here to the home page. So when people are scrolling through, it's easier for them to um, to consume more of your content. So they basically see, OK, well, hey, she's got a lot more videos and it gives them more options to click on. In your case, um, your your picture is in here in a lot of these, so that is recognizable. Um, but like in the situations where it's not, this is where having you know your branding tightened up is definitely a valuable thing. Because when you have when you have your branding tightened up and it's something that that people get used to recognizing, then or, or get used to looking for or recognizing for the people that are into your content. When you put up a video where it's not clear that it's you, when it's here, when it's here, when it's here that it makes it easy for them to know that it's yours for the people that like you. Because that's how it works on YouTube. Like over time, right, people, people, like when they're, when they're, when they're getting into your channel, right, when you're, when you're creating that following, when you're creating that audience, right, it's, it's really, um, it's really important to be able to hold that audience as well. Right. So like if, if like, in a, like on a, like a vlog style channel, right. Or like a, you know, any type of channel where you're sharing like information on like how to do, how to do stuff. It's super important because, because the more that people can recognize it, the faster people are going to, are going to, to come in as you are releasing your content. And then the more people come in and they're watching those videos, subscribers watch for longer periods of time. Um, typically than non-subscribers. So basically they come in and you're getting that watch time and you're getting those higher view durations and that causes YouTube to push your content out um, even more to other people that, that are not subscribed to your channel to try to spread you into a new audience. Okay, let's see here. Next up on the list is Lipkin Life. So Lipkin Life... Um, here, it's clear to me that you are a family vlog of some kind, but I would definitely um, mention also up here that you're a family vlog. Um, I can see it as soon as I start to scroll down your page, which is good. Vlog, 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 vlog. Um, but I would I would definitely make something up here, like like maybe in this area um, or somewhere over here if you did like a, um, if you moved your family picture over this way and then you did like, a, you know, um, the, or, or, or here, just kind of scoot this up a tad and do the Lipkin Life family vlog or something like that, just so it's clear the type of content it is. Because saying the Lipkin Life, um, it's a good channel name, but but saying the Lipkin Life doesn't say anything about what it is that you're that you're offering. I'm in the same boat, right? Because on my channel, you know, my channel is my name, so because of that, I have to make it like stupid, stupid proof, like stupidly clear, I should say, what is going on on my channel. So when people come in. Like the name, my name isn't what I want them to see first. I want them to see the value that they're going to get on my channel. So I say subscribe for YouTube and video tips. And that speaks to my target demographic. It says, okay, well, you know, I want YouTube and video tips. So I'm going to go ahead and subscribe, right? So the same thing applies. If they're into vlogs and they see the Lipkin Life family vlogs and they're a family vlogger, then, you know, you're going to increase your chances of getting that subscribe. Thumbnails look cool. I like what you're doing here. Um, I would definitely keep it consistent though, but I, I really like what you're doing with your, uh, with your, with your text on here and your, your imagery on your vlogs. That looks, that looks great. And, uh, and I saw in your super chat also that they just, that your son just had the brain surgery. So I'm glad to see that he, that he made it through it. First vlog, new visitors. Yeah. So, so really at a, at a, in a nutshell, 
I would just any of your any of your um, thumbnails that do not have this look, I would definitely apply this look to them because I mean that's super identifiable. That looks great, um, what you're doing there, and it looks so good. I'm actually going to screenshot this right now, and I'm going to hold it open in the background because I'm going to use this um, as a future example somewhere because I, I love how that how that looks. And and I'll give you credit anytime I, I use that, by the way. But um, but another thing that I would do for the sake of your branding also is because you have this look, and this is such a, a recognizable or an identifiable, that's what I'm going for. This is such an identifiable look that you're that you're rolling with in your in your thumbnails. Um, because of that, I would transfer that up here. Because this is cute, right? But I would transfer this look up here so that everything so that everything is seamless right so that so that they get used to seeing it here they get used to seeing it here um so that in all of your stuff on all of your social media like i, I would i would transfer this look across everything personally if, it, if this was my channel that's that's what i would do all right so now we're gonna hop into the chat for a second and we are going to chat it up here just for a few yeah, I hope that was uh, hope that was helpful for you. Um, let's see here. We are going to pull up. I'm going to pull a couple out of chat here, and then we are going to go back to Twitter. Yeah, like on some of these that I'm pulling up right now, right? Because I'm going into the chat. Here's what's going on right now. I'm going into the chat, right? And I'm pulling up some of these. I'm pulling up some of the channels. I'm looking at them and I'm saying, hey, you know, this is, you know, what, what's going on? You know, what, what's this people, what's this person doing on their channel? Because they're asking for the review and all that stuff. And then I go and I look and I, and I see that like none of the information that, that I share is, is applied. So, so I'm like, Eh, you know what? I'm 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 not gonna I'm not gonna do that one. Like as an example, random tube right now. I just pulled you up. You have twenty seven thousand subscribers, but you don't have a custom layout on your channel page. And because of that, if you go into your stats right now, I'm gonna pull this up. If you go into your stats right now, right, and you look, most of your subscribers are gonna be coming from your channel page. Congratulations on the view count. But here's the thing: because most subscribers. Because most subscribers come from channel pages, and this is on every channel that I've ever had the luxury of looking at, because most subscribers come from channel pages, with all of these views that you're getting, your subscriber count should be way higher than it is right now. And I would be willing to bet that this is why it's not. So I would definitely modify the layout of your of your channel page like right now I, I would go in and, and modify the layout of your channel page right now and and get your get your content organized into into playlists on your channel page and uh and then keep an eye on it for the next you know like month two months and and see the difference in your in your view to subscriber rate and and make sure when you're when you're putting this stuff on your channel page that you that you're organizing stuff into playlists that make sense for the type of for the type of content that you are um, that you're making because your views are there right like you're you're getting views like more recently than anything but you're you're getting views which is good but you you need to you need to convert these into subscribers if you can convert here's the thing okay on your channel because of the view count that you're getting if you can if you can convert some of these if you can increase your view to subscriber rate on, on these, on this content, because you're getting pushed hard right now, then you have the potential of this really blowing up in comparison to, you know, just having like 27,000 subscribers. Like that can be the difference in, you know, like with the amount of views that you have right here, like you should easily have, you know, 50, 60, 70,000 by now with the, with the view counts that you have on some of these latest videos. So, you definitely need to make sure that you dial in everything. I don't know if you've been around for the whole stream or not, but if you can dial in all of the things that I've been talking about during this stream, then it will make a humongous difference 
in your view to subscribe ratio. Okay. Now we're going to pull up chat again, see what's going on in chat. Let's see here. So I'm pulling out a couple here. Okay, so Jimmy Changa says, you've seen my channel twice, so I don't need a full review. Um, but can you look at my updated header and give me your opinion? Absolutely. Okay, so with Jimmy Changa here, well, let me check something real quick. Okay, so with Jimmy Changa here, here's what we got. Okay, so with Jimmy Changa, we have all things anime. Excellent. Um, collectibles, movies, games. Also excellent. Um, I'm not sure what's going on up here. That's really difficult to read. Um, oh, it looks like somebody's getting credit for the artwork. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Subscribe a little bit off for the angle, but, you know, I get the idea. Yeah, I, I, think, this is, I think this is okay. Um, hold on. Stormtrooper stuff. Got that in there. Yeah, I, I think this is okay. I think this is this definitely makes it clear that you're talking about all things anime and you've got the collectibles, movies, and games. The only thing that I would do here, um, just from a design standpoint, is I would, one, I would put a little arced arrow on here to better see that. Um, another thing to consider here is that on a mobile, this is going to get cut off like right around in here somewhere. So I would just look at this on a mobile to make sure that nothing weird is happening. Um, with the information that's over here. And I would darken this a little bit too to kind of draw a little bit more attention to it. And to be honest with you, um, I would actually move this up a tad and then I would take this and I would put it underneath it instead just so that it's a little bit more symmetrical because it's kind of like I see what you're doing there with putting it inside of the, the triangle, but but I would I would keep it all right here in the center just for the sake of it, you know, displaying nicely on a mobile and things like that. But yeah, overall, this it's it's definitely more clear um, what it is that you are, what it is that you're talking about on your, on your channel or the content that you're making, I should say more clear what type of content it is that you're making, um, on your channel. Okay. So next up on the list, um, travel team info about traveling, saving money in history. That is excellent. Um, one thing that I would recommend to you from a design standpoint is to, um, make sure that you are spacing this out right because right now you have this big long thing of text up here at the top and then just a couple words down here this would look better if you moved the saving money down here to the bottom as well it would it would give this it would frame this whole section up here in just a little bit better and just make it a little bit easier on the eyes um, also your pictures I don't know if you're doing this on a phone but your pictures look really soft on my screen um, so you might want to throw these into Snapseed or another editor if you another image editor if you're working on a computer um, and 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 sharpen these images up a bit because they look really blurry here. I don't know if you can tell that in chat or not, but they they definitely look uh, look blurry. I would also make sure that you bring your content to your channel page because right now you don't have you know you you have your playlist which is good, but but I would actually display some of your content on your channel page as well. Okay, on this one, this is from Abonzo. And in your channel art, like, you, you know, you're showing that you're doing uh, an anime thing. Like, this is like one character, I guess, in anime. But, you know, same thing applies. I would definitely make it clear. Because here's the thing, right? You don't want... You don't want to be abstract, right? Right? You don't want to make stuff. You don't. You don't want to. You don't want your channel to be abstract. When somebody comes to your channel, you don't want people to have to figure anything out. You don't want them to have to be clever in order to in order to get what it is that you're saying. You don't want them to have to be clever in order to understand what it is that your channel is about. You want to make it just as blatantly clear and obvious as you possibly possibly can. It's super super important that you uh, that you do that. Um, let's see here. So next up on the list, and after this one, because I just pulled this one from chat as well. So next up on the list after this one, I'm going to go to Twitter again. 
But this one here, I just pulled a random one out of chat. This one's Gotham Goth, uh, Gotcha. So here on yours, um, in your channel art, same thing. You know, like I'm not clear. Like I'm sure you're doing like Injustice 2 stuff. Um, let's see here. Okay, that's not all you're doing. So in that case, yeah, you're doing Andromeda, Overwatch. So yeah, so I would make it clear what it is that you are, that you're doing up here on your, in your channel art. And of course, you know, make sure that you're tying all your thumbnails together and all of that stuff um, as well. Okay, so now we're going to hop over to Twitter, see what's going on over in the in the Twitter world. I'm going to grab a coffee, too, again, for you morning folks. Okay. Let's see here. Real quick, um, I want to go ahead and mention that um, we're also going to be doing channel reviews on the new channel when uh, when we open that up. Um, and it's actually going to be like two, maybe three people sometimes actually reviewing the channels. Um, so, so make sure that you're subscribed to that because you're going to get feedback from like different perspectives too. So, um, so make sure that if you haven't subscribed to that yet, you click the link down in the description um, and you head over and you subscribe to my new channel. It's going to be open up really soon. We're getting really close. Um, let's see here. Okay, uh, real quick, AnimeBot asked on Twitter, they say, how can I properly use tags and vids? Some of my vids have no tags with thousands of views, while others have more tags with less. Um, what's caused that is your video just got suggested more because when it first went live, people were, um, they were, you know, coming into that video and they ended up watching it for a longer period of time. And because of that, then YouTube started promoting it out um, more than they typically would. That's the thing is any channel can have anomaly content like that to where that happens. But in most cases, because and with a lot of channels, they can't keep up with what actually triggers that. So because of that, it's really important that you apply all of this stuff and that you're optimizing your videos for search and so on. And right now, you know, I'm looking at your channel and you said that some of your videos have like thousands of views. Um, I see one video with like 1,700 views on it. That's it. So, um, so like in that video here, I'm actually going to look at that video here real quick, just so that I can answer this. And if I uh, see if I possibly pull this up uh, on screen, okay. So hardly any engagement on this one. Okay, so you're put out onto a few video platforms. Okay, so you're doing anime stuff. You're promoted on... I'm getting a, a power flicker here, so if the stream dies, um, then I'll be back. But uh, let's see here. It looks like... Um, yeah, it looks like some of your stuff was posted on like a Japanese trending thing for YouTube. So that might be where you got that traffic from. Um, another one on another, um, another site. Yeah, so so with with that video that you have with no tags... Um, that either A, got suggested um, internally from YouTube for whatever reason, um, or those, those external refers ended up sending a small spike in, a small spike in views. But yeah, with, with tags, I actually have a video that I just uploaded on my channel about tags, so definitely go and check that out. If you want to know how to use tags, check out the, um, the TubeBuddy video, and that will give you some insight into, into how to do that. Okay, let's see here. Okay, next up on the list. First, let me jump in the chat here real quick. Okay, so real quick, um, before I get into this next one here. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, let's hop into the chat. Let's see if anybody... So far, from everything that, that I've been talking about here in the live streams, does anybody have any questions about any of this stuff? Um, S Cube Tech says, Nick, how do you run a YouTube channel in a better way? Um, batch, batch creating stuff is great. Um, just making sure that you prioritize is also great. Making sure that you engage with your community as much as you possibly can is also great. Making, making sure that you're optimizing your videos is great. Making sure that all your branding stuff is dialed in so people can recognize your content is great. Um, making sure that you're 
always looking through your video library and you're finding videos that are not on an upward trajectory and you are going in and optimizing those as long as they've had time to age. If they haven't had time to age, then that's not something you want to mess with yet. You want to give them just a little bit um, more time to age. Anabot says, thanks uh, so much for the feedback, Nick. I've been nimified. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Next up, review me on Minecraft. Please review this. Please review. Nick, review, 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 review. Uh, the Lipkin Life says, thanks for your help. My pleasure. Glad you found it useful. Can you hear my channel? Review me. I sent you a DM on Twitter. Thanks. Any ideas for a Minecraft YouTube channel? And could I please have a review? Says Blaze Plays. Um, cutting your caboose, your channel. Okay, Flawed Hero says, cutting the caboose. Your channel is damn good looking. Congrats on that. It is still in my other tab. I will check out more of your videos. See? Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, sweet and spicy girl says, hey, Nick. Whoa, I just lost that one. She wasn't saying anything here. Let's see. Left and left. Thanks for the review on my channel. Yeah, I had her in here. I don't know. I don't know where it went, though. I'm trying to move from a certain niche and concentrating on vlogging, says BJET Maria. Jet uh, Maria. Yeah, that is good. In my tag, should I add misspelled words since that is common? If it's common, yeah, absolutely. Feel free to. Um, that can, in some cases, that can definitely help you um, rank for those those misspelled words um, as well. I don't, but I like I don't use misspellings in, in mine, but but you definitely can. Um, let's see here. When I record videos, I always have stat of. How do I fix it? I'm not sure what stat of is. Um, let's see here. Any advice on my thumbnail style? Says the discussion room. I will open you up. And I've already got another one lined up here from Twitter also. And then we are going to... Let's see here. Okay, so now we are going to get some of these up here and open these up. Okay, so the first one on the list is Streak TV. So Streak TV, same thing, man, in your channel header. No idea what it is that you are doing on your channel. So that is, that is, that's where we're going to start. So I'm going to start doing these from now and into the future. And I think this is going to make it more efficient for everyone. Is I'm going to... Just start at the top of the of the header. Okay, here, here's what we're gonna start doing. So so this is gonna this is gonna force people to to take some action here. Okay, so how we're gonna start doing these is we're gonna start at the top of the screen. Okay. So and this will work for you too, even if your channel's not verified. How we're gonna start doing this is we're gonna start at the top of the screen. And I'm going to start at your header. So if your header, if it's clear and easy to understand what is going on, then I'm going to move down, right? And then I'm going to keep moving down th through the channel page until we get all the way to the bottom. So if I'm in the channel header and it's not clear what it is that you're doing, I'm going to say it's not clear what it is that you're doing. I'm going to explain what you need to do, and then and then that that one's off, right? And then we'll and then we're going to pull up a new one. I think that'll be more efficient, and that will also that will also force um, force people to take action on some of this stuff because I, I know that I know that in some cases you know people are just wanting their channels up on the screen and stuff and that's cool you know I, I get it I understand um, but in addition to that you know I also want to give screen time to people that are um, that are you know that are, are listening to the advice and they're taking the advice and they're actually putting it into action so that they can get the results you know what I mean so so I'm gonna start. Um, I'm gonna start doing it that way. But here I'm gonna start on um, on Street TV, and I'm going to say that, like in your case, man, um, same thing. Like here, um, you definitely need to put something up here to let people know um, what type of content it is that you're making. Because like how you have your name up here, that's cool, you know, because it says, you know, hey, this is this is who I am, which is cool. But the idea behind this is that you want to um, you want to focus on what it is that the viewer is going to get also. So having your name up here, you know, that's cool because you want people to Paul Democritu, thanks for hanging out, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for uh thanks for hanging out, man. It's nice to see you in here. Don't be a stranger, my friend. Um Yuli Armstrong in the house. Nice to see you, Yuli. So so yeah, so like in your case, just make sure that you put um that you put up here the the 
type of content it is that you're making and focus on the viewer benefit and then make your stuff secondary, viewer benefit primary. Astrofocus. I love the content on this channel, by the way. Um, astronomy and Futurism, excellent. With Astrofocus, also excellent. New videos every second Sunday at 1 p.m., excellent. Home run right here, right? Channel art, home run. This looks fantastic. And in addition to, I, and this is important too. So in addition to this, fun for days. What's going on? Nice to see you in here. So in addition to, um, in addition to how clear and easy to understand this is, if you look at this from the point of view of association, right? So, okay, not only does this look great, but his content is astronomy and futurism, right? And with that, he also has a very clean, modern, stylish, like modern design that goes along with that. So his design style matches the content style. Right? Home run. All the way around right here on this. Total home run. And I'm sure, because it's close right here, I'm guessing that you've sized this to where it's going to cut off right here and here and, and just be perfectly laid. I'm not going to pull it off on my phone right now, but I'm guessing this is going to be perfectly laid on a, uh, on, a, on a phone. Where did the moon come from? Excellent. The first real picture of a black hole. Okay, yeah, these are great too, right? Super, yeah, the pattern there, fantastic. Yeah, dude, you're 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 nailing this. This this looks great. Um, here I'm gonna pull the chat up here too. So give me your feedback on this too. Let me know. Let me know what you think about uh, about what's going on here. So, so yeah, what what you're doing here is is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. These look great. The only thing that I would recommend on on how all of your stuff looks is is to pump up the saturation on some of this stuff a little bit so that it really stands out. You know, because that's the cool thing about some of the space imagery. This one, obviously not, but but on a lot of the space imagery is the is the colors that are involved with it. So I think that um, that that pumping up the colors just a tad um, can be really beneficial as far as making your stuff stand out. But yeah, this is this is great. Like what you're doing here, this is all this all looks great. Okay, now. Okay, so now I'm going to close this one down. And we are going to go to the discussion room. And in the discussion room, I'm going to pull this one up on screen as well. Join Sam in the discussion room Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Okay, so here, um, starting with that that at the top rule, um, I'm not sure what the discussion room is. I'm not sure what you're trying to say here. Um, I think a good way to clear this up would be let me look here real quick. Mm. Okay, profanity. So I'm 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 going to uh, take this one off screen. But yeah, so so in your case, I would make it a little bit more clear because you know you have the discussion room as the name, but but it doesn't really say what it is that you are, what it is that you're doing. Okay, so next up on the list is. I meant to turn the screen off before I did that. But next up on the list is Daily Jessica. Jessica Nicole Faust, Motherhood, Lifestyle, Womanhood. Please subscribe to join my journey. Excellent. Now, here's one thing to keep in mind. Um, because this is about you, right? Get to know me tag, right? I literally can't see. Upper body workout, back to reality, honeymoon for days. Okay. So um, one thing to keep in mind here is you have, you know, please subscribe to join my journey. Um, but right now, I don't know if you are also like sharing information to help people at all in addition to just on like, you know, vlog, like what's going on in your life type of stuff. Um, if so, I would put that focus there because it's more important what you're doing for the viewer than it is for what they're going to do for you. Um, so if you could if you could make that more viewer focused in some way, I think that would be a win. Um, but if not, you know, if this is all, you know, just, you know, hey, this is look at me, then then that's cool. That totally works also. Um, then in that case, you can you can definitely leave that. But if you if you are providing any additional type of value to uh, to the viewers, I would definitely make sure that you are are highlighting that there. Um, because you do say what it is here, we're going to move on down 
moving on down the road. Um, here also, um, same thing with doing something to your thumbnails to, you know, to make it easily recognizable as yours. Like, um, like with Astrofocus, right? Like the, um, the, the thing with his channel, like if you look at him, right? Like, even if he didn't have, I'm going to pull him back up on the screen again here. Even if he didn't have, um, his name here, right? Th this is how, this is how, how dialed in his stuff is. Even if his name wasn't on these thumbnails, it's still clear that it's his content by the style that he's doing here. And that's where, that's where, that's something that you can keep in mind when you're doing all your branding stuff. It's not just having your name on here, right? It's about people being able to identify your, your thumbnails as your thumbnails, right? So like with his stuff, it's, it's super easy to understand that, hey, this is, this is all his stuff, right? Even if his name wasn't on here, it's super clear that, that this is all made, um, that it's all made by him. So, so I would recommend doing something similar in your case so that everything is, is easy to, to recognize as yours. And I know I, I hammer that home like all the time. I'm always talking about that. But, uh, but it's the, the reason I talk about it all the time and the reason that I'm, that I'm always saying something about it is, is because it's extremely, extremely important that, that, um, you know, that, that you take that into consideration. Stevan Hamid says he quits. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Yeah, see, now this is what I love right here. Right now I'm looking in the chat and I have people saying, um, like basically giving each other advice on the channels, which is pretty cool. You know, saying, hey, you know, I looked at your channel, you know, and this, and this isn't clear, and this isn't clear, and hey, maybe you should put a little bit of a shadow behind that pink text, you know, stuff like that. Love, love seeing that. Um, let's see here. Yeah, uh, Harry HD saying, I love your profile pic, Andrew Hacks. Okay, let's see here. So I'm going to pop into Twitter, see what we've got going on here again. All right. Okay, so we're like two and a half hours now, so I'm going to do a couple more of these, and then we're going to go from there. Okay, so this one here, you made the cut, so we're going to pull it up. Um, Manly Man TV, channel header, Manly Man TV, style grooming fitness, excellent. Um, the best tips, hacks, and advice to increase your manliness, that is also excellent. I would put a picture of you here because you're putting yourself in the videos. Your picture is a lot more kind of, you want people to get familiar with you if you're the personality of this channel. Now, as we move down the page, here you do not have your um, your channel layout laid out. <laughs> so because of that, um, the review is going to stop right up there at the at the very top um, of the channel. But yeah, so basically, I would I would change this out for you since you are the since you are the 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 star of this show. I would I would change this out for you. And as a side note, I would also keep in mind, you know that you, you want to reduce the session kills right now at, while you're trying to trying to go your channel. All righty. Next up on the list. Let's see here. Let's go into the let's go into the chat for this one. Um, let's see here. If I have 5,000 Gmail and I use them to get views, what will happen to my video? Can I make money with those views? Okay, Clash for Fun asks if I have 5,000 Gmail, don't understand. Okay, if you have 5,000, we'll just say email addresses, and I use them to get views, what will happen to my video, and can I make money with those views? If you have 5,000 um, subscribers on an email list, if that's what you're referring to, and you are sending out emails to those 5,000 people, and they're coming and they're watching your videos, if they watch your videos for an extended period of time, like if you're getting decent watch time out of those, out of those 5,000 people, yes. That that's beneficial. If they are landing on your on your video and they're saying, "Oh, this is I don't want to watch this," and they're out of there, then you're actually hurting yourself because your view count will go up, 
but the actual promotion of that video will plummet because basically that's telling YouTube that people that are that are watching it are not into it. Dr. Shaco Boy, music and more. What is going on? Nice to see you. Okay, let's see here. Whoa, it's like storming outside too. So 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 I gotta get off of here for a couple of reasons here shortly. Okay, roses for Rosa. Okay, roses for Rosa. Minecraft, Reblocks, and more. Uh, roses for Rosa Gaming. Um, just as a side note, how you have your how you have your text here to where it kind of separates it. I mean, not really there with the four, but but it, you know you can see that that's three different words. I would do something here to make that easier because it's just kind of like a blah, 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 right there when you when you read across that. So I would definitely clarify that a little bit. Um, but yeah, you, you say in an abstract way, but it's still kind of clear because you have the gaming here and then you have like, you know, these are the games. So I think you're okay there. Um, here, how you have this, that is, that's good. Um, it's more important to have your name as a side note. It's more important to have your name on here bigger so that people can recognize it on the phone than it is to have a little rose there next to it. So just having your name big on there is is a is a better advantage for you than putting that rose because that rose I can't even tell what it is. The only reason I know that is because I'm looking at these and I'm looking for what is that little thing? Is what I'm thinking in my brain. Hey, what is that? Right. So so um so I would make your name bigger and lose the rose. Also keep in mind that YouTube has this white background. So with the white, um, if they didn't have these underneath then it would be okay. But because because they do have these, having the white in there, um, it's not um uh like I, I would I would change the color of this also. Okay. Let's see here. What do we got in Twitter? Savan Hamid, a super tip for beginners. The tip that I have for all beginners is to be as patient as you possibly can because YouTube is a is a marathon. YouTube is not a track meet. It, in most cases, it's going to take a while. So be ready for that. Strap yourself in, dedicate to the long haul and and commit, right? Say okay, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to do it. So uh make that commitment. And, and, and get your long-term plan in place, get your long-term goal in place, and say, this is why I'm making content, this is where I want to be in a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, and these are the things that I'm going to do in order to move in that direction. And then just follow that plan relentlessly until, until, until it works out. And of course, you're going to make changes along the way and make adjustments and things like that as you learn more and as you get more experience and things like that, so... Okay, next up on the list, Whiskey Jason. On yours, um, I've mentioned a couple times in the stream here. See, I can't see this, so I don't know if you're if you following the rules here or not, because <laughs> I can't understand it. But but I see the whiskey, so so we'll consider that a yes. But but one thing that I would do um, is on your on your thumbs here, because they look kind of dull. Is I would definitely pull these into Snapseed or something like that and pump up the colors on here, because again, you want them to stand out. Also. Um, like your text on here is really hard to read. Spend some time getting your thumbnails together. Text is really hard to read. Like here, here's the thing, and 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 I cannot hammer this home enough. Okay, it is super important, and 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 I real I can't stress this enough. Your thumbnails on your your thumbnails on your videos and your titles are the thumbnails and the titles on your videos are the first point of contact that you are going to have with potential viewers of your channel. They're also the first point of contact. I'm not getting cranky. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, it's also the, the first point of contact um, that you're going to have for new content to your current audience. Right. So it's extremely important that like what happens is this, like people will put a lot of time into their videos 
and they'll say, you know, hey, Nick, man, I'm putting all this time into my videos, but for whatever reason, I'm, I'm not getting traction on my content. People just aren't, you know, I'm not getting views. I'm not getting, I'm not, I'm not getting traction on my content. My channel's just kind of staying in the same place. And then I'll look at their channel and then I'll see that their thumbnails and their titles are, are, are bad, right? And because of that, wh when you, when you, when you don't consider your, your thumbnails and your titles, what you're doing is you're creating a disadvantage for yourself. And, and the sooner that you can remove that disadvantage, then you're, you're, you're eliminating that completely. And it's going to help out your channel. It, it's going to be, it's going to be something that is going to help move you forward. If you take the time and you say, okay, I'm going to spend the next day, the next two days, if it takes you the next two weeks to get a thumbnail scheme together that looks great, that's effective to where you've got all your pattern stuff down. So, you know, you have that pattern recognition for your current subscribers, for the grid when you come up on home pages and things like that. Um, you know, so if you can get all of that stuff together, it can make a humongous difference on your channel because here's a few, there's a few different things at play here. There is initially there's, there's the part of your, yeah, Beanie Draws right here. Excellent. Yeah, okay, so Beanie Draw says, a good thumbnail is sometimes more important than a good video. People won't click a good video if the thumbnail is bad. Right. Like, if, if you have if you have a awesome thumbnail, people are more likely to click that and then give you a chance. But if you do not have a good thumbnail, then people aren't even going to click it. Right? So you don't ever get the chance to have, you could have the best video ever made, you could have the best image quality, the best camera quality, the best audio, everything. But if, you're, if your thumbnails are not on point, you are massively, massively missing out and creating a huge disadvantage for yourself. It's really important, and, and I can't stress this enough, it's, it's extremely important that you, that you dial this stuff in on your channel because if you, if you don't, you're, you're just leaving views, you're leaving subscribers, and you're leaving your own success on YouTube on the table. You're basically saying, you know what? I don't, I don't care enough about my channel. I don't care enough about all of this work that I'm putting into my videos to sit down and, and figure out how to make my thumbnails look better. I don't care. That's what you're saying, essentially. I don't care. So it's, it's really important that you, that you spend the time to get all of this stuff together because when you do, that is what makes the difference. Like this channel that I'm getting ready to pull up here, his channel looks like the channel art. This looks at the at first glance, this art, it looks nice. Like it, this, this is like okay. I'm gonna give this channel some consideration because of just how this, just how the channel had art, the, the channel art looks. Here I'm gonna pull it up. Okay, so this channel right here, um, I I can't understand everything that's going on because it's in Spanish. It looks like, um, but from what I see here, like all of this. I don't know if this says anything about the actual type of content that you make or not, but just as a side note, my attention is drawn over to here, and this is like the least important part of your channel art, right? I mean, I see what you're doing. You're trying to get people behind it, you know, hey, you know, make sure you subscribe so I can cross these milestones, but this is all about you, right? So so drawing attention to what is all about you is the, is the least important thing on the channel, right? You want to draw attention to... To, to what it is about the the viewers, right? What it is that, what it is that you're doing for the for the actual viewers. Also, same thing here, as far as syncing up your your thumbnails for your for your um, for your channel, super important. Okay, um, Hio says here. Let me let me pull this up here real quick. Okay. Hio13579 says, Nick, I live stream, so making thumbnails and titles are very difficult to do since I'm not sure about how the stream will go. Okay, here's the thing. Do your stream. Like, go ahead and make a, a general thumbnail that says, hey, this is my stream. Because I think in your case, I think, you, I think you live stream every day, right? So if you're live streaming every day, then, um, then in that case, if you don't know how the stream's going to go, put up a general thumbnail initially. And then after your stream is over, make a new thumbnail for, um, for the replay. I'm actually, I'm going to go to your channel real quick.
Okay, and, and the same thing, too, with your channel also is I would definitely make sure that you get your channel art together because right now your channel art doesn't say anything about about what it is that you're doing on your channel. Like when I when I land on your channel, here, I'll pull it up on the screen. When I, when I land on your channel, it doesn't, like I, I'm not sure what it is that you do. I have to actually go and, and try to figure out what it is that you're doing in your channel instead of it being obvious to me um, what is going on in your channel. So I would definitely, like step one is I would get this together. Well, actually step one, I would get your thumbnails together. And then step two is I would get this together. I would do it all in one sitting. Um, but I would, I would definitely redo how you're, how you're doing all of this for sure. And spend the time because it's, it's important, you know, like when you, when you're doing anything, you know, like if you are, if you're, if you're building a, 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 a shed right at your place, let's say you're building a shed and you're, you're not going to just, you're, you're not going to just build a shed and not put walls on it, right? Like, Hey man, this, this shed's great. You know, I don't know why or not put a roof on it, Right. If you do, and then you say, well, hey, man, this shed is great. You know, I got all my stuff in here, but for whatever reason, it just keeps getting wet. And I, I just can't fix this problem of everything getting wet. Well, it's like, well, yeah, you didn't put a roof on it. So, of course, it's, everything's going to get wet, right? So, so your your channel art and your, your thumbnails, those are also important. Like, hey, Nick, I'm not getting views. Well, when you look at your thumbnails and your, and your thumbnails are not click clickable or they're not click worthy, then, then of course, people are, are not going to be clicking on those and, and, and bringing views, right? Okay, let's see here. Hey, Nick, I need help with my videos, and I work hours on them. That is cool. Yeah, they take time. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's see here. Super user, phone and PC tech help. Okay, super user, in your in your case, just from a design standpoint, um, what you are doing on your, um, what you're doing here, um, like the phone and PC and the tech help, um, really hard to, really hard to read um, what that is. And again, you know, you're focusing on your name, which is already here. Like you're focusing everything on your name and, and you're focusing everything on you instead of focusing everything on on the people that are going to be landing on your channel page. Okay. YDPOX because there's a lot of, of there's a lot of people on the stream. Right? So I'm I'm pulling up two here. And the first one let's see here. Okay, so this one here is whoa, I got one that's like auto playing here. Let me shut that off. Hold on. Okay, yeah, like on this one, I just pulled up one and I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna show it. Okay. So on, on this one here, I'll do this one. Um, let's see here. Okay, so on yours, my life and video. Okay, so you're doing a vlog, I guess. Let's see here. I didn't think it was possible. The real reason why I didn't think it was possible. Reaction video to this. So much rain, 4th of July. Okay, like with yours, th this looks cool. Like, you know, like... Um, like artistically, this looks this looks neat, right? Um, but I would I would definitely, um, like I, I I'm guessing this is just a vlog or something, maybe, like maybe with what my life and video, maybe you're saying that it is, but it's not because you're doing like eye tutorials, eye tutorials, makeup tutorials, and then your morning routine, uh, challenge videos more m more makeup stuff yeah so so uh, yeah I, I would basically figure out the type of content that you're making and then make it clear up here what it is that you are what it is that you are are doing ydpox i looked at yours and that's the one that i just closed down because because it's not um because it's not like there's there's nothing on there that that lets me know anything related to what it is that you are what it is that you're doing. 
Um, let's see here. So, so yeah, if you're trying to get away from beauty, then I would make it clear. Um, you know, I would say this, B. Jet Maria, and where's this coming from? Oh, there it is. Okay. So basically, what I would do is I would say that um, uh, I I would just make it clear that it's a that it's a vlog. So you have like my life in video. Like if you're doing a vlog, like a real legit vlog, then I would just say um, that it's a that it's a vlog. But but the idea with this is basically for for anybody watching this is is no, do not delete your your beauty vids. If 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 just keep them on there. Right in the future, people will come in and watch these. But the thing is, is is to generate that initial momentum is to is to focus on a particular type of content and then once you start generating some momentum then you can kind of you know experiment a little bit more and things like that to to kind of broaden everything up yeah it's like thunderstorming i don't know if you can hear that but it's like thunderstorming here okay so next up we've got review stop review stop um toys tech games gadgets fun challenges appliance snacks products family yeah, so like here, if you can, if you could, like, because your topics are all over the place, it'd probably be easier on you to uh, to, to focus on on something. But I mean, this is okay. But but I'm just saying for faster, you know, for faster growth, so to speak. Um, yeah, and here also, right? I would just pick a color, you know, just just pick something and roll with it. Like like this, your review stop stands out the most on this right here. Compared to compared to the other things here in the in the quick view. Yeah, and, and here also, I mean, this is kind of crazy because you got so much stuff up here. Like, just limit it. Even though you might do more stuff, like I would I would limit it. I mean, you want to get as much in there as you can, but like because there's just so much going on here, it's just kind of like overwhelm when I when I look at this up here. So what I would do is I would do like reviewstop.net. Um, since you're doing gadgets, games, tech, deals, food, toys, snacks, products, funds, challenges, appliances, family, like what I would do is I would, I would focus this whole thing around like, a uh, cause it looks like your kids are in here and stuff like that. I would, I would focus it more on like family vlog or something like that, or, you know, a family something or other, but, but I would basically try to focus this in. I'd have to put some time into thinking about it, but I would put, I would put something here into into like I would just kind of rethink how you're presenting this stuff right so like in your case I would do something like um um uh you know like do something about it being like a family vlog or a family review channel or something like that because if you're doing a lot of reviews right then that would cover toys that would cover food that would cover gadgets that would cover uh, I don't know about deals but that would cover tech that would cover products that would cover snacks that would cover appliances you know what I mean so I would do like reviews fun and family or something like that. So just, just kind of keep it, you know, a little bit limited because again, you know, you want to, you want to make it easy. Like that's the whole thing, right? You want to make it easy for people to understand what it is that you're doing on your channel, make it easy for people to understand what it is that you're going to be doing for them. Also very, very important. Okay. Let's see here. I like your channel. I'm learning Urdu and will be a regular. That is cool. Please review my channel. Thanks so much. I'll work harder. Yeah, no sweat. It's not about it's not about working harder. Don't take that the wrong way, please. It's it's not about um, working harder. It's it's just more about just 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 sitting back and thinking about it and thinking about okay, what is it? How do I want to actually present my channel, right? Because because with YouTube, like if you're creating a channel on YouTube, it's a long term thing, right? So you want to sit back and, and and think about it. You know, like if it takes you a week or two weeks to to, to get an idea together to where you're like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Take that time and plan it. Like, what ex exactly, what type of content do I want to put on my channel? How do I want to present my channel? How do I want to present myself? You know, what is it that I want to accomplish? Um, what kind of content that I make can I make to help me accomplish that? Um, what is it that, that I want to deliver? What type of value do I want to deliver to other people? You know, do I want to impact uh, the lives of other people? If so, then you have to make content for that. Do I just want people to know what's going on in my life? If so, then you make content for that. You know, so you figure out the purpose of why you're why you're making your channel in the first place. Then you figure out, okay, well, what type of content do I like to make that I'm interested in that I won't get burned out on? And then you try to think of, you know, what it is that you're trying to accomplish and all that to where you basically package all of that together. And then that tells you that, you know, what you need to do with your channel.
and then try to make your channel too. When you look, when you think of your channel, you want to think of it like, okay, if somebody says, oh, you have a YouTube channel? Really? What, what, what type of videos do you make? You want to be able to tell them in a sentence what type of videos that you make, right? So like on mine, I say I help people uh, grow their YouTube channels. That's it, right? So, so for yours, you would say, uh, oh, I, 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 do, I do vlogs or I do, I do family vlogs or, you know, oh, I do tech reviews or, you know, whatever type of content it is that you make. If you can, if you can try to figure out how to, how to basically summarize that into a sentence, then that will also help you to be able to communicate through your channel art and through your messaging overall in your videos what it is that you're going to be doing for your viewers as well. DJ Chaco Boy, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Okay, let's see here. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and head off. We, we've been on here now for um, rolling up on three hours. So I meant to go for two hours, but you know how, you know how this live streaming thing is for me. Yabi Addison, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. Glad to see that you just joined. Unfortunately, we are just getting ready to shut her down right now. But thank you for swinging by. I appreciate it. And everybody that's been hanging out in the streams so far, St Streak TV, I pulled you up already. So, um, so yeah. So, uh, yeah, anybody that's been hanging out in the stream, thank you so much. I will see you next Saturday. And, of course, I will see, uh, I will see you on a video on Monday. And for anybody in here that is in my Patreon, um, there's a link to that in the description as well. Anybody in here that's on my Patreon, um, we will be having a call um, tomorrow night on Sunday night, um, Eastern time. So if you are in the Patreon and you are in for the group calls, then uh, then make sure that you um, that you are around for that if you have the time. Um, and if not, then um, yeah, and if not, then, you know, uh, then you'll be able to catch the replay because I also put the replays in there as well. But for everybody that's been hanging out, thank you so much for hanging out in the live stream. Thanks for um, being a part of what's going on here. I appreciate you, and I will see you next Saturday. Have an awesome weekend.